Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Uncharted X podcast. My name is Ben, and this is episode nine of the show. And today I've got something of an exclusive for podcast listeners. It's the full interview that I had with Patrice Poyard, who is the author and or writer and director of a, just a, a great new documentary that came out late last year called Builders of the Ancient Mysteries. Uh, I found this documentary particularly compelling because it, it specifically moved forward the conversation around the evidence for ancient technology by taking you know, modern scientific equipment and analyzing a lot of the most famous stonework so we could get an understanding of the depth of precision, of the actual degree of precision that is shown in some of uh, these works. This was done in places like Pumapunku in Bolivia on the incredible H-blocks and some of the other andesite works there. It was conducted at the Serapium of Saqqara, one of my favorite sites anywhere in the world. And it was also done on a, a site that I really haven't heard about much before, but is just revelatory for me, which are the Barbara Caves in India. And you'll hear more about what their results are and, and, and where they went and, and I think what they mean in my review of this, which is the first part of this podcast that you're going to hear. After my review, we'll get into the full interview that I had with Patrice. We talked for nearly three hours. Uh, it's, it's a bit of a long one. He's a really interesting guy. Uh, English is not his primary language. He's, he's French and uh, I think he does a great job explaining himself in English and I think his English is far superior to uh, my French or any other any other uh, language for that matter. Uh, he is also the guy that was behind Revelations of the Pyramids. And you hear me mention this in my review of it, uh, which is another reason why I wanted to talk to him because that's one of my favorite documentaries of all time. Uh, I did also want to mention that there is a link to to view uh, BAM. It's not available on YouTube or anything like that. You have to you have to purchase it and stream it through a site called Ocast.tv. I think it's about three bucks to view it. It's I'd highly recommend doing it. Uh, the link is an affiliate link, so it does help me out a little bit. But this is only because this is something that I absolutely can stand stand behind and believe in, and I, I want to help Patrice promote this because I think it's a very important bit of work, uh, f- and that anyone that's interested in this in this field uh, should see. I think it's it's very much worth uh, the the couple bucks it takes to, to go and view it. There's also a ton of other content on the BAM site, all the full extended interviews with guys like Graham Hancock, Chris Dunn, all that sort of data is there. So uh, go and check that out. You can find the link to view it. It's on my website, on the post on unchartedx.com. It'll also be beneath the post for this podcast uh, on my website. So uh, if you're interested in seeing it, go and check it out over there. One last thing, just wanted to say a big thank you to everybody that does uh, support me and my work and the show and, and my channel through the value for value model. Uh, I couldn't do this without any without the support that I get from uh, people that listen and, and that like what I'm doing. So thank you very much. And if you are interested in supporting what I'm doing at all, as I said, I try to use that value for value model. So if you see some value or you hear some value from what I'm doing and you want to give some value back to me in return, there's lots of ways to do that. It's all outlined on my website. It's unchartedx.com slash support. Hope you enjoy this podcast. Cheers. If you haven't heard of Builders of the Ancient Mysteries before, or we call it BAM for short, there is a good chance that you've seen the works of its creator, as Patrice Poyard was also the man behind the film Revelations of the Pyramids, which is really one of my favorite documentaries, and it's one of the more popular works that is in this space that has come out in the last 10 years. Revelations of the Pyramids is one of those documentaries that I often recommend to friends or family that are looking for an introduction into some of the mystery and wonder that can be found with a detailed examination of megalithic cultures and our ancient past. Revelations, which is I think nearly 10 years old now, it touches on many of the same topics that I get into on my channel. The precision of ancient megalithic work, the encoding of advanced mathematical principles in ancient architecture, as well as the issues with the mainstream narrative that surrounds these subjects. Now, if you haven't seen this film, I'd really highly recommend it as a great use of a couple of hours of your time. BAM, which came out in late 2020, is something of a sequel to Revelations, and it goes deeper into the details of some of these ancient mysteries, which was a real conscious choice made by Patrice when he was writing and directing the film. Revelations was undoubtedly popular because it engaged the audience through a story narrative, almost like a Dan Brown novel or something like that, but BAM is much more and much more unreservedly 
about the details, the depth of precision and ancient technology. And it's really here that I think it shines, even if its target audience is perhaps geared more towards the initiated and the interested rather than the general public at large. Now, before we go any further and I get into my review of BAM, there is a link to view the documentary below in the description. It's available to stream on Ocast.tv, and it was the result of a long crowdfunding effort by Patrice and his team. This link below is an affiliate link, so watching it via that link does help me and my channel out a little bit. There is also a ton more bonus material available on the page. And there's things like the full interviews conducted for the film with Graham Hancock, with Chris Dunn, and several other people. Maybe a little bit of explanation about why I'm doing this, because some of you may have noticed that I haven't yet succumbed to the whole YouTube trend of the, you know, this video is brought to you by this earbud company, this mobile game company, or this VPN company. And that's certainly not due to a lack of offers. I seem to get those emails coming in every week. But my intent is really only ever to do something like this when it's something that I genuinely believe in and that I can recommend and stand behind, which this documentary absolutely is. So I saw BAM for the first time late last year, just before I went to Egypt. And I think it does an excellent job of moving the whole conversation around the evidence for ancient advanced technology forward. As thanks to the efforts of Patrice and his team, they actually went out and did new scientific work and analysis on ancient sites using modern tools and technology. And it's exactly the type of thing that I've called for in so many of my videos. So purely from that perspective, I was very grateful to see that this has happened. It's exactly what the institutions who control these sites and control the access for research should be doing. They should be going and investigating exactly how precise and exactly how well made so many of these mysterious sites and objects are. Yet, for some reason, they really don't ever do this. And it seems to be up to the alternative community or independent researchers to forge a way ahead down these paths. Perhaps this is because the establishment institutions aren't interested in the engineering aspects of these problems, or perhaps it's because they think they have it solved simply by pointing to the primitive tools that we have in the archaeological record. But the fact remains that there are yet many unanswered questions and aspects to these ancient works that could, and I think should, be investigated with modern technology. To paraphrase one of my favorite quotes from the pioneer of investigative archaeology conducted in the spirit of engineering, Sir William Flinders Petrie, we should never be satisfied by simply saying that something is exact. We should always strive to determine just how exact or how precise is the work and what exactly was the ancient artisans, the engineers and the stone carvers' margin for error. So it's in this area that I think BAM has really moved the discussion forward. Patrice and his team, including geologist Eric Gunthier, who also appeared in Revelations of the Pyramids, they used modern surface roughness meters to determine just how flat and precise are some of these surfaces of worked stone in places like Puma Punku, the Serapium of Saqqara, and the incredible granite caves of Barbara in India. The results are, to be frank, astonishing. Down in the single digits of microns, a micron being one thousandth the part of a millimeter. If you want the imperial conversion for that, there are 25,400 microns in a single inch. And we're talking about measurements on some of these surfaces that challenge even these scales. A difference in flatness as low as 1.5 microns was measured on some of these artifacts and surfaces. For all intents and purposes, perfectly flat. This isn't a one-off measurement either. This is work that has been repeated across multiple surfaces of multiple objects. Objects like the famous H-blocks at Pumapunku, the boxes of the Serapium, and the solid granite walls of the Barbara Caves in India. This is work that is utterly and entirely beyond any claims of simple hand tools and primitive technology. These results cannot be ignored. They're empirical, the measurements are repeatable, and they are solid evidence for sophisticated tools and techniques that must have been employed in the distant past. They lead to significant implications for our understanding of the history of human civilization on this planet. We, in today's modern civilization, can only achieve such precision and flatness with the use of very sophisticated mechanized and computer-guided tools and technology. 
The results shown in this documentary showing a smoothness or a rugosity much like that of glass are leagues beyond anything ever done purely by hand. So let me make something of a plea. And this goes out to all the skeptics of this topic and to all the experimentalists who have declared victory simply because they have shown that it is possible to shape stone with primitive tools and technologies. Not that I think anyone has ever really disputed that, and certainly I haven't. Please watch this documentary and please try to replicate these results using the methods you claim can achieve them. Even try to just explain them from your primitive technology perspective. I'd be quite entertained to hear it. The only actually honest way to address these results, if you're claiming that you know how it was done, is to first acknowledge them, then account for them, and then try to replicate the most difficult aspects of these objects. I'm not claiming that I know how these were done, so the burden of proof here isn't on me, it's on you. In my opinion, the only truly valid experiments would be those that follow the simple four-step test as outlined by Christopher Dunn in his book, Lost Technology of Ancient Egypt, which goes something like this. 1. Have experts examine rigorously and thoroughly the original artifact, paying close attention to the most difficult characteristics to reproduce. 2. Describe the theorized method used by the Egyptians, and you could replace Egyptians here with any of the cultures that you claim built some of these objects. Three, perform the work including that which is most difficult. Four, compare the experimental results with the original artifact, taking into account all the characteristics of the original. So bear in mind that the precision flatness measured here is only but one of the most difficult characteristics of these ancient stone objects. There are many more of these, including relative geometry, which is the angles of different faces relative to each other, often over wide distances, the symmetry of objects, the specific tooling marks, and the difficulties of working in these specific mediums, like the paper-thin brittle schist and other very hard stones of some of the ancient stone vases that we can see in the Egyptian museum. I've seen lots of claims from skeptics and experimentalists. Again, mostly people who have demonstrated that it is in fact possible to work stone with primitive methods and then go on to declare victory, but I haven't seen anyone come close to replicating these specific characteristics. In fact, the very first step of Chris Dunn's test, the simple examination and acknowledgement of the most difficult characteristics of ancient precision works, rarely ever really happens. In those establishment skeptic circles, I all too commonly witness people just ignore these characteristics and move straight on to ad hominem attacks and invariably roll out the same desperately tired old straw man of, so you must think the aliens did it. So please, to all the experimentalists out there who are claiming that they know how it was done, here is one of the challenges. And bear in mind that it's only one of many. In these surface roughness testing results, we have a definable metric. So go to town with your copper and your flint tools, your rubbing stones and your sand and your water. Let me know when you get to 1.5 microns. Hopefully, with future study and some rigorous examination of these artifacts, we will be able to specifically define the other difficult characteristics and continue to learn more about the achievements of our past. There is one other topic that was investigated in BAM that was a real revelation to me personally, something that I knew very little about before watching it, and that is the previously mentioned granite caves of Barbara in India. If you haven't heard of these, they are a series of geometric, carved and polished caves that have been hewn from solid outcroppings of granite. As part of this documentary, Patrice and his team painstakingly scanned them with modern high-definition laser 3D scanning tools, as well as using other modern tools like the surface roughness meter we just discussed and acoustic measurement devices for sound and resonance testing. From these results, they have created detailed 3D models with resolutions down to the millimeter. I think the results from these tests will be the subject of much new study moving forward. The symmetry, curved surfaces, precision, flatness, geometric and acoustic complexity of these granite cavities are, quite frankly, utterly astonishing. I will most definitely be talking more about these caves in upcoming videos and research, but suffice to say, if these topics are at all of interest to you, I highly recommend watching this documentary. The link to it is below in the description. 
So there is a lot more to BAM than just these couple of topics, including a detailed investigation of the Antikythera mechanism, which is frankly mind-blowing in its implications on history and on just how much knowledge our ancestors had about the cosmos. Graham Hancock and Chris Dunn make appearances, Gobekli Tepe, the sudden surge in agriculture and civilization, the Younger Dryas Cataclysm and the possibilities of a lost ancient high-technology civilization that possibly preceded it, as well as the mysterious origins of the meter and the metric system and how it's represented in ancient architecture. These are all topics that are touched on in the documentary. I hope you enjoy the interview and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Patrice Poyard, welcome to the podcast. It's uh, really great to get a chance to speak with you and uh, see you. Yeah, oh, nice to meet you, Ben. Uh, nice yeah. to be. It's my first uh, interview uh, uh, in the United States. Yes. R really? Oh, yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah. I'm, su I'm surprised well, to hear. Uh, not in the United States. In, in English. In English. The first oh. bit of of, uh, of Bam. I've made some for Revelation of the Pyramids uh, a long time ago. Uh, mm -hmm. And as uh, people have um, uh, uh, noticed, I'm French, so my English is very bad, very difficult, because in France we, th we think that everybody speaks French all over the <laughs> planet, but it's not the case for 300 years, maybe. <laughs> so I try to speak in English, but uh, it's, it's sometimes difficult if you don't understand something. Tell me, and I will try to explain because sure. uh, it's, sometimes it's te very technical when we are speaking. We are, we are talking about the past of the planet. Sometimes it's technical, quite technical. Indeed. So don't hesitate, okay? And Thank to you. Yeah. Me, uh, because I have to learn English. And, oh uh, well, your, your yeah. English is far far superior to my to my French or any other language for that matter. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of where I wanted to start. Was was I just wanted to say congratulations on creating BAM because I, I uh, as I've, I've told some of the people uh, on my channel and and uh, I, I wanted to talk to you about it because I just think it's a it's a fantastic documentary and for people that aren't aware I mean you're the creator and director uh, a writer I assume too of, of that uh, of that documentary and you also created Revelations of the Pyramids which is quite well known in in, in these circles uh, certainly when we're dealing with ancient history and for me personally Revelations was a just an outstanding film. It's it's one that I will yeah. often show to people who have that, you know, they they just have that high school of you know definition of history where it's like yeah yeah the you know the Egyptians made the pyramids they're all tombs there's no no mystery here or anything like that. I I love to sit people down and show them Revelations uh, just to just to instill a sense of some of that mystery and wonder that is in a lot of these monuments and there's a lot of unsolved questions and then. You know what you what you've done with Bam has just taken that to the to the next level, really. With I, I was I was thrilled to see it. So congratulations on an excellent movie, and yeah, I, I, I highly recommend it. So thank you, thank you very much. What I have to say to Revelation of the Pyramids, it's it's been ten years ago, so it's a long time ago. It was my first uh, experience <clears throat> with the documentary on the subject. And uh, this subject, as you know, is very difficult to talk because you are doing some videos and you know that uh, if you uh, put too much details, people are bored. And if you uh, don't put some details, people say, yes, you, what you say is just bullshit. So it's very, very difficult to, to, to bring things like this. And I was uh, scared with the revelation of the pyramid. Uh, I didn't want people to, uh, to get bored of the subject. Uh, so I, I decided to, to write uh, like a fiction, like a Da Vinci Code um, uh, structure yeah. uh, with some uh, investigator, it, it, it was a woman like in BAM, and uh, with an informant. I'm playing this game of uh, there's a guy uh, who is knowing all the secrets and is just uh, piloting the, the, the woman. But it was just to make people hear uh, a lot of uh, hard facts, like uh, when you are speaking uh, of uh, a stone that is 200 tons, um, it's very technical and sometimes it's not very sexy because if right. you look at uh, Revelation of the Pyramids or, or Bam, it's like a movie dedicated to wars. 
and uh, it's like masonry movies, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> so you have to you have to, to 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 make something like a magician to 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 get the interest of the people because they told me that people are very very um, uh, the, the 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 mind of the people is just not more than two minutes three minutes and uh, at this time it was forty five minutes and then they they, they they go to another subject. Okay. So uh, I've made this, but uh, it cost me a lot. Because this may ban, um, you have two reactions, uh, two, 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 two way of responding when you, uh, after I've seen revelation of the pyramids. The first is to say, okay, it seems interesting and uh, I, I, I want to go in the subject. And then you take the rope and uh, as you, we have both made, when you are, when you are going on the rope, you see it's it's going very very far and it's very long. For for me, it's twenty years. I'm on yeah. the subject for 20, twenty years, and it's it's always fascinating, and you 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 discover a, a lot of things. But and the other is to say no no no, I don't like this because um, as you remember at the end of Revelation of the Pyramids. Um, I was just saying to people, now I'm going, I'm leaving the, 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 the uh, I, I don't remember, I, I, I'm leaving the place where I'm leaving the facts and we just go to hypothesis and right. I explain this to, to people and I say, now it's not facts, like we are just talking Spe about this. Speculation. Yes. And Speculation, yes, because at this time, uh, I, I, I went to a conference of uh, a French researcher, uh, very expert in the field of uh, electromagnetic fields and the sun, the, the, the cycle of the sun. And uh, at this time, this guy was saying exactly the thing that maybe in the, in the 10 or 15 years to come, we will um, we will have a problem of um, the invasion of the yep. electromagnetic field. Yeah. Okay, that's and we say it, it could be due to the sun because the sun is rotating, it's inversing its polarity each uh, yep. eleven years. And he said maybe on the next. So he, he was at this time we were in uh, two uh, thousand and eight, and he was very affirmative at this time. And I've seen. In the conference and the guy is all explaining what I, I, I put in relation to the pyramids that, uh, that, that it, it, it could it could um, 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 basculate what what's the word? Yeah, oscillate yes, or, or, yes or, oscillate yeah. and then uh, we could have uh, we, we, we could stay without electromagnetic field for uh, a few hours to a few weeks because we don't know the, yeah. we, we never observe this. We, we don't know how it works. And then we, um, when um, I, I was hearing this, I was remembering that uh, all the tradition and uh, like the Maya, like a lot of people, they say something uh, which is quite the same. And they say you will see in the world and the, you have to see in the Bible, the, the world will be destroyed by, by the, the, the fire. And there will be some a lot of fire everywhere. And uh, for two people in um, in um, uh, another world, for two people, two people in the nature, for example, one will be taken and the other will be let. It's like you see at the Marvel movie. You remember that at the end, yeah, yeah. one is yeah, dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. it's a, it's a, because they they are taking a lot of prophecy and old prophecy and text. Yep religious text to, to do them their the marvel uh, characters yeah or story yeah, I mean, and, and it uh, they, they they were explaining that it was it will be fire and the fire will destroy the world and uh, the mayans say quite the same because it says it's uh, it's the fifth uh, age of the world of the and world. it will be destroyed at the end and so i say okay uh, my my um, uh, my fear was that people uh, when uh, uh, won't be to, to, to not be interested by the subject, by the topic, so uh, I used some um, some narrative uh, um, uh, structure to, to to take this, and I want because the, the guy said, okay, I don't care about the way we put two blocks, two stone blocks, uh, uh, four thousand years uh, ago. I don't care about this. What yeah. I want now is to eat and to have a secure future. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know. 
is this, is this could help me in my life now uh, or not? So right. uh, uh, they could have made some uh, you know, cement, a lot of things. I don't care about this. So I wanted to say to them that the past and the future are linked, always linked. And uh, the present is just the, the vehicle on the past and the future. Yep. It don't mean that the future is written. And uh, because we, we, we don't know for sure things like this, there's a lot of theory. But it just means that if you don't know who you are, you, you, you can't decide for free for your future. And the, what was interesting for me is to say, OK, they told you the system, the, the, the modern life uh, told you that you are not good people, that the civilization as born because of the um, uh, because of this because of fear and uh, war is part of the civilization it's like um, uh, something uh, not good but 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 uh, useful yeah. okay yeah. and they say that the, the our ancestors for um, um, uh, it's like uh, for prehistoric age uh, our ancestors were just people that uh, uh, wanted to collaborate and wanted to go in tribe or village and, vi and town uh, just because they were afraid of the nature. They were afraid of the beast, of predators, of things like this. Yeah. And they, 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 they didn't say that they were together because just by love, because they, they knew that, it, that it, it's easier to live at uh, two, three, four, ten than alone. Yep. And then it, it, it's better because uh, if you are a very good hunter, you have someone that is a very good cooker. And so you can go very good hunt, hunting and you don't have to do all the things. Yep. And um, they say this, that the, the, the war is, um, is a principle uh, that is normal and necessary. Okay, yeah. and this is our world, and the world, our world is ruled by war, and wars, and weapon industry, and all sure. the people on the country that are speaking about the 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 the, 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 the actuality, the war, the the the, the 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 news, and it's all the countries that are, are selling a lot of weapons. If you sure. don't have some weapons, you're not rich. If you're not rich. Uh, we, we, uh, we are more than 250 countries all over the world, and, and there are just a few that, uh, that are decided. So I've seen this, and I said to myself, I don't think that the, uh, you have some good people and some bad people, and I'm not an eugenist. I, I don't think that you can bond to the world uh, uh, with being a bad guy, very bad guy, and will be a bad guy all your life. Right. And I don't think that the society is um, is make you becoming bad. That you are pure at the beginning, and then because of the society of the people of the anger, and then you become bad. No, I think it's a, a complicated thing. We are at the at the uh, our birth. We are we have all uh, some uh, machine organism, uh, yep. which is very complicated organism, mm -hmm. and we are all uh, 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 doing capable to, to to do a lot of things. Okay, and, yeah. and then we are going into life, and that that's why the tradition say that we you have to uh, be responsible. Okay, and the ancient people say speak about the responsibility. They speak about the free will, and yeah. they say you're totally free, and you are totally free to act and to. And I've I've it, seen some. Sorry, it's like a, a complicated, but it's all the same. What I've seen, yeah, I've seen and I've I, I've guessed um, uh, society uh, interested by uh, building some uh, masterpiece. And building some masterpiece, but not with an uh, ego, um, uh, to, uh, uh, with being in an ego trip. It's right. not being, um, building a masterpiece like the Great Pyramid to say, hey, look how At powerful me. we are. Yeah. Because there's nothing written. There's no, 
It's like they're humble and everywhere around the world, it's the same. The, the oldest things you can, you can see are the biggest, are the, the, be the, better, the better made, uh, yeah. and the join and something. A, the, the work is, is very, very high and it's ne never signed. Right. So it's, it, so it's um, and 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 um, uh, I just I, I just wanted at the time to to, to go where I, um, um, I live my path. Um, that at the end of the movie, I just want to um, to make people looking the revelation of the pyramid more involved in the subject and start to think about what is humanity, what is a man, what is. Uh, what a uh, human uh, can do and yeah. a lot of things because when you're going through the subject you go outside the time and the space that's right and then you are in a place then you can see something very long and it has changed my life and so sometimes yeah. i think yours too for sure it has changed my my perspective a lot of things that, and, and i that's... wanted to, to say to people okay and, and i just finished now you're right so. you're right <laughs> I just wanted to say to people, hey, look, uh, maybe it could be dangerous. Maybe this guy, this uh, researcher is right when he's speaking about the reverse of the... And maybe the ancient guy have uh, said this. Uh, and what I wanted at this time, I wanted people to go back to archaeologists and Egyptologists and to say, hey, uh, and then the, the, to open the debate. But there were no debate. Right. I had, I had, I had more than hundred uh, millions view of revelation of the pyramid over the world. Maybe it's more. I don't know, but in France, I I didn't have any paper, just one single paper of revelation of the pyramids. Mm. The movie is on TV from ten years now, more than ten, no, no, less than ten years. Sorry. And each time is doing like uh, it's the best on the on the TV channel. It's a small channel uh, called RMC Découverte. Each time the movie is going on the channel, it it it's a hit. Nobody yeah. speak about the subject. And then I said to myself, "Wow, what's the situation? What's yeah. the problem? What's the problem?" So I'm sorry. It was very long. It was very. <laughs> It's all right. You can't touch you. You can't touch the past without doing without touching history. And when yep. you touch history, you touch politics. And then the problem, the problem is in part politics, economy, etc. Uh, I, it, I, uh, yeah, I, I agree. And I think that there's a lot, there's a lot in that to, to unpack. I think the um, the key word there is perspective. Like I think, think that uh, I understand what you were going for by connecting like a documentary like Revelations to having people just question what it means to be a human because that's that's when you study the past and you get into that and you look at the way other ancient civilizations lived and it gives you so much context relative to what we're all doing today and and you you, you sort of quickly understand that so many of the values we hold so many of the things that we aspire to and a lot of the structures that are put in place around society in terms of goals and even to some extent the whole idea of well you go to school you know, you go to university, you get married, you have a job, you do your job, you, you know, then you retire and then you don't like that whole, even that method of living, you want, you start to understand that a lot of that is very subjective and it's, and it's, and it's embedded in the times in the society that we live in. And it doesn't have to be like that. That's not a, it's not a fact of life. Like there are other ways to approach life. There is other ways. And, you know, you talk about, uh, values and and morality i mean that's the egyptians themselves would that, that their whole lives they were the their, their whole lives were set up as a system to to get them to death almost and then they, their lives would be weighed against that feather of truth you know that like they had to so that it's it's sort of all of those values and things are baked into it it's not about more stuff and as you say that these monuments weren't we we project our own our society today is built on war you're absolutely right like the military industrial complex and everything like that it's why for so long and even and this has been the case ever since the you know the the columbus and the new world i mean that's why they look at everything in south america and say well that's a fortification you know that's a castle that's there to, that's there to keep the the invaders out yeah or this is a sacrificial table exactly yeah and it's not it's yeah. it's it's a projection of of um 
of our own values. And yeah, we could we could talk about the the politics of it all. I I, uh, I, I mean, I briefly. I I mean, I'm I'm always disappointed by the way the politics has gone because you know it, you you go back a few generations and it was like the space race and when Kennedy was president here and it was. You know, we were all a bit. The politicians were promising you a better future, and and it really was at that point something of yeah. a of a of a like a better quality of life, and there were these solid values. But then that that all shifted when you know it was Tony Blair and George Bush came in, and it was it became the politics of fear and and the, the politics of defining the other and of protecting you from from this from this from this external threat, and and that's what politics was driven on. We stopped talking about the future, and we just started worrying about defining others and protecting everyone and security and that's just that's just morphed and progressed now into the current situation the world's in which i think has a lot to do with how you know the world has reacted in 2020 to all of the all of the events that that shall not be named you know you know what uh, what uh, what was my motivation at the, the beginning of revelation the pyramid what made yeah. me um, trying to find some money to do the, the movie is because when I'm looking, for example, to, of the I'm looking to the Great Pyramid of Giza, uh, uh, what I see is a masterpiece yeah. uh, in engineer, engineering uh, because it's very very complicated to 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 do this. You just say, oh yes, it's just a part of uh, stones. Then you you put the stones and it uh, it, it gives you a pyramid. <laughs> no, it's very, very complicated, and yeah. uh, the proof that it has uh, uh, made it has been made like a masterpiece is that you know, she's, it's still here now, right. uh, after thousands of years, and, uh, and one uh, earthquake, the last earthquake in Egypt has uh, destroyed all the, the, the town of the Cairo, yep. um, but the pyramid is still here. And uh, and to me, it's not uh, it's a masterpiece, but it's like a masterpiece of art, because yeah. it's uh, it's uh, the, the 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 marriage, uh, the wedding of art and uh, science. Yes. Because if you don't have science, you can't uh, build a pyramid like this. Right. But uh, y you can be an engineer with uh, just with a piece of wood and. Uh, and a uh, 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 modern mallet, I don't remember. The, the, you, you can be an engineer just with a piece of stone and um, a copper chisel, for example. Yep. And you can be an engineer with a thing like this. Uh, engineer is just a way of thinking. Uh, yes. I want to build something. Uh, I want to create something. How ah, do I have to create to be uh, more efficient, to cost the less, uh, to, to, a lot of things. And what I've seen is that uh, it's both. It's uh, it's it has made very very precise, and it's like um, you go and there's no uh, writings, no decoration at all, and it's uh, very strange when you go in, into the, 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 the Great Pyramid. You have a one meter on one meter so passageway, yeah. and then you go in a big the, the 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 Great Gallery. And the, yeah. what is most spectacular in the Great Pyramid is the Great Gallery and not the High Chamber. Right. But, uh, but why did that? It's like if, if you are doing the, the, the corridor to uh, the, the, the king rooms uh, bigger than the room. It's <laughs> nonsense. But everything, everything is uh, like it. you're upside down when you are in the, 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 the pyramid. Yeah. You don't understand and it's uh, complicated everywhere. I agree, but it's agree. still it's still a piece of art Absolutely. because it, it's very simple. Yeah. But you know what? What is art? Art is talking to everybody uh, without words. It's giving emotions, and when you go I and mean, you see the pyramids, you're oh, yeah. it's it's so big, it's so huge, and it's so simple, and it's uh, the, the, when you see the the, the, the Giza site. For me, it was like uh, I see uh, uh, like the the the, the, the uh, work of uh, Leonardo da Vinci. It's it's like a piece of art. And when I, I, I was not interested by the pyramids at the beginning, I didn't know even when the the, 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 the pyramid has been made. I was remembering the, the at my my school lessons when they speak about uh, it was slaves at the time on. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, but I, 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 I wasn't interested because for me there were no problem at all 
people. We didn't know, okay, but it's here, okay, no problem. I, 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 I didn't know that it could change the, uh, the history of the, the human race and a lot of things. So I just wanted to, to, to um, try to discover this and uh, to try to understand how they, they made the, the, the Great Pyramid. And then I discovered a lot of things. And, uh, and I was very upset because they were, they, they were saying at the beginning of my work, they were saying that it was the, the farmers uh, when uh, three months a year, when it's the, 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 the Nile is going... The inundation. Uh, Yes, the inundation of the Nile for three months. They say, "Hey guys, uh, you don't have to work with the with the farms and with the the, 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 the uh, planting cereals or things. So why don't doing a pyramid yeah, <laughs> and three blocks. three month three month a year they they they, they go they go outside the farm and they, they, they go on the Giza plateau and they build the pyramid. So it was." three months a year for 20 years. 20 years. So it was like seven years, or I don't remember, I have calculated this, it was seven years. And they say, okay, they have been this in seven years. And I was uh, trying to, to understand and uh, Notre Dame uh, in France, it's a uh, hundred years. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Teotihuacan uh, in Mexico, it's uh, 150 years. 50 years, yeah. And these seven years with two million blocks and uh, and I, at this time, uh, I didn't know anything on construction. On, um, so it took me uh, six years, six years to uh, find some information, to uh, meet some, a lot of people, engineers, arch architects, uh, stone cutters, a lot of people, and say, mm, asking, because I didn't know at this time if I mm, will make a movie, but it was just for my pleasure. And I just wanted to know. How is it possible to do this? How is it possible to do this? A um, lot of things. Yeah. And uh, at the time, so one day it became obvious that uh, uh, everything is... Uh, I went to Egypt in 2005 for the first time. So I started on... Uh, um, uh, one uh, it was uh, 1999, okay? Yep. Uh, the, the beginning for me of the, the subject. The discovery of the the subject, and I went to Egypt uh, in uh, six uh, six years later, in two thousand and five, uh, and at this time I have a very um, 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 important knowledge, uh, but theoric about all this because I have read all. I I was doing uh, commercials, so uh -huh. uh, I was earning a lot of money, and I didn't have a lot of time for to to work. So we have uh, plenty of uh, plenty of time to study the pyramids, and it was a very different world from the world of commercials. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> sure, you, it's not the same people. And uh, so I've, I have spent six years to uh, read a lot of book, uh, academical book, and uh, alternative books. Mm -hmm. uh, so I discover a lot of things, and uh, some things uh, look uh, um, uh, trustable and other very, very uh, strange. And yeah. I went to Egypt, and uh, what strikes me the most, I think, in Egypt, was the Valley Temple, more than the Great oh, Pyramid. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because they were in the Valley Temple, uh, a lot of, very, of things very, very, very um, uh, conf confusing. And uh, concentrate in a small place, and you can see, and it, it's easier to um, to try to understand because what you see is in front of your eyes, and you have some big stone because it's very huge stones. Yeah. But uh, it's not like the pyramid because the pyramid is like uh, abstract. It's so big, so huge. It is. To, yeah. uh, just yeah. uh, imagine building a, a pyramid. It's like. You, you don't know, too, but it, it's very, yes, and it, 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 it's very, very complicated because of the internal structure. Right. And to put the internal structure into this huge amount of blocks, we don't know if there's a lot of blocks uh, at the core of the pyramid, um, but it, it's not possible that it just sound off because they want the, the, the pyramid have a crumble. Sure. Yeah. If, if it's this, so it's a, it's a very huge structure, but it, it could be like a bee, um, 
uh, be, uh, you know, the bee are uh, going something like uh, oh, honeycomb. Octog- yes, it, 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 we use this uh, this principle to make a lot of things in uh, engineering. Yep. Honeycomb you know, to, to make something yeah. very um, uh, light but 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 strong. strong. Yeah. And maybe the pyramid is like this inside. Maybe they have made some uh, 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 alveoles. I don't know. Some you have some all. But all constructed with geometric. So what what I mean is that not for uh, sure uh, two uh, two million blocks. Uh, maybe it's less. Yeah. But the Valley Temple is yes, right but, in your. It's in your face. Putting, it's yes, but putting the internal structure into this and uh, the way because uh, because what is difficult with the internal structure is that part of the structure is has been dug into the the calx the, the 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 plateau yep okay and you have seen that it's uh, 70 meters uh, long uh, so at least the wall um, uh, corridor it's uh, about uh, 100 meters and you have 70 meters d- going uh, uh, dug to the ground okay and uh, we went we went uh, this because at the beginning when i started to go inside the pyramid it was uh, it was easy to go to the to the subterranean sub- chamber yes the subterranean chamber and the medium chamber it was open at the time um, so uh, we went there and, and we just uh, took some measurement of the angle and the angle is uh, uh, 26 uh, degrees and it was 26 degrees and it was in grade. It was not in uh, uh, degrees and minutes. Okay. Right. If you convert in, it was uh, 26 uh, degrees and uh, uh, I don't remember. The, the, but when you convert in a degree and minutes, it's 26 degrees and 18 minutes. Precise. Right. And we took the the, the the angle at the the bottom, and we have put uh, maybe ten measure till the, um, the, the, the the outside, and it was very uh, it was constant. And the, the corridor, you see, uh, the, the, there's no difference between the part dug into the the calcs and the part made built by blocks. Blocks. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so so you. According, because you, I know you're you're a retired engineer, but you, you have your, your mind uh, your mind as an engineer. Uh, it's better to to start to dig uh, uh, before uh, building the pyramids, yeah. because yeah. you have to, uh, in case of you do the the opposite, then you have to dig into your blocks. So it's not uh, right. And uh, at the time they were digging for seventy meters and go there but uh, this element can't be moved after right in, uh, when when it's made it's made yep but it's fixed. everything is perfect because this the the internal structure is very precisely aligned with this and you have some symmetric points and you have the the, the thing and then the the internal structure is very precisely put parallel to the the side and yeah. the, 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 the side are very precisely put on the earth because they are less than three minutes uh, of a degree uh, to the North Pole. Right. So it means at the time when you start to dig with the, the, your, the, your corridor, you know exactly uh, what you're doing. Uh, yes, what you are doing. And yeah, you know exactly incredible. when to dig or not. And, uh, you know, and so today you see, okay, it's just uh, limestone and uh, granite for, for the, the high chamber. Yes, but it's just some stones. No, it's not just some stone. To put the stone like this. And uh, I have discussed with a lot of uh, architects and uh, structure engineers. It's, it's better to speak with the engineer uh, structure. Yeah. Yes, than to architects. Because the architects, they, they can imagine anything, but uh, um, uh, of, uh, it's not a blame to, to architects, huh? but uh, uh, engineer structures, structures are the only guy who, who can say, okay, it's possible or not. Because the, the, right. the architects are imagine, imagine, imagining a, a lot of things, and then the, the, the engineers say, no, you can't do this. Yeah, you the engineers have yes. to make it a reality. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. 
So it's better to 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 speak with uh, engineers. Uh, and when you I... speak with uh, in engineers, um, they don't understand. They really don't understand. Uh, so they they think they don't understand because it has it had it has been made in the past. And uh, now today we are using other materials. We are using some crane, something like this. So mm -hmm. they say, but they 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 don't understand because um, oh, we we can speak a lot with the the, the great pyramids. But uh, you know, they, they they I have one. I have I, I have one uh, pyramid like this. A model. Yeah. Uh, they say they say that. Uh, they have put the, the, the high chamber with with some place some parts uh, yep. outside uh, uh, under yes under the, 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 the high chamber just to protect the, the pyramid to to um, to prevent the pyramid to to, to crumble yeah okay? the, the so-called relieving chambers yes it, yes it, yes yeah. but engineers told you that uh, the pyramidal shape is the one that is making less uh, pressure to the yeah. ground because yeah. it's totally different from um, from a building right because a building it's uh, you, you go straight to the point and then on one millimeter you can put a very yeah. strong force here you have this that go uh, everywhere so it's, it's so okay yeah so, I, I don't I don't think they're there to relieve any pressure in fact no. my understanding is that that whole internal structure is more or less freestanding relative to the rest of the the outside of the pyramid, like it's it's not under pressure. Yeah, but the the the, the, the you, you have more pressure on the medium chamber. If yep. if you speak about the pressure, you have more pressure, more height uh, at the medium chamber than on, on the high chamber. Yeah. But where there's a, a, a far more pressure, I think it's. Uh, you remember we discussed we have discussed about this. It at the bottom of the the great gallery. Yep. Yeah, because that's... at the bottom of the Great Gallery, you have for 50 meters blocks uh, put on an at angle. Uh, 36 degrees. And uh, you, you, you remember the blocks are like this, because yeah. the one side is vertical and the other there's an angle. And all the, the, the blocks are going to the base. Yeah. But you, the pyramid is like uh, it's one floor, another floor, another, another. So. If I go with this and I put a very strong um, strength here, okay, and and I have uh, it, it, it's difficult, but uh, I take this one, 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 and I, and I have a, a, a lot of um, um, a put a thing like this. Okay, you understand? It's yeah, <laughs> sorry, yeah. it's very, very <laughs> difficult, but. But if you have something that uh, that is uh, um, um, very EV and yep. that is pushing here, all the, the, the blocks uh, have way. to uh, yes, so you have a lot of strength here, but it hasn't moved. Yeah. So it means, and when you go to the bottom of the, the Great Gallery, you see the way that the blocks are, um, are put together, and it's pure engineering, pure engineering. Yeah. But and it's... So, yeah. Yeah. I I I 100% agree with with the idea that it's it's the it's the engineers and the people that understand what it takes construction experts and even stonemasons to some degree when it when it comes to the things like the precision in the stonework they're the people that really truly kind of understand that you you know this isn't something that's easily achieved with these primitive methods and tools and techniques that are ascribed to these oh. civ ancient civilizations as we know them like not and, and to me it's like no doubt the dynastic egyptians did excellent work and they and they used a lot of the methods and tools that that we that we know about them but those just aren't the answer for a lot of these objects and and constructions that we see and it's not you know you you have to be you have to look at it from that engineering perspective and construction perspective to kind of to understand that and what's yeah. one of the the things that's astonishing to me about this when I think about it, like because it was so so long ago when, when these objects were created and these things were created, we it wasn't it wasn't until Flinders Petrie's time and, and you know, he was not there were plenty of explorers before him, but Flinders Petrie was it was it was at that era, the end of the kind of the Victorian era, that that was only the time when our civilization developed enough engineering capability and manufacturing capability to even understand 
to start to understand the complexity of what we're looking at. Like it wasn't, you know, we just, you can look at those, at the, the, the engineering elements of say the bottom of the grand gallery or the, the, you know, the, the saw cuts and the, and the tubular drill holes and things like that. It wasn't until Petrie's time that we had even something to compare that to and, and, and start to understand, oh, there is, there's, there's a lot more going on here than just these primitive tools and methods. And, and, and that's been, you know, that's, I think that's when this debate sort of started because I consider Petrie was really the first sort of engineering type person to approach it from that perspective. And, and you know, we, our, our, funnily enough, our picture of the past hasn't, the, the, the official picture of the past hasn't really changed since those times. But I think there's so much more evidence and, and, and this discussions along the engineering lines has been going on since that point. And I mean, bam, your, I, I, can, I think your documentary has advanced that discussion significantly because you guys went and did you know a number of of the of the actual tests and and you took measurements of stuff that hadn't been uh measured to that degree before and and one of petrie's uh famous quotes is that we should never be satisfied by saying that that this work is exact you know stuff from the past he said we should always be striving to determine how exact is it and and what was the ancient uh engineers and ancient uh, ancient artisans degree of of of, or, or margin for error like that's he, we, sh, we should always be striving to to determine these things not just to say it's flat but to say how flat you know how, yeah. what is the margin of error and you guys went and did that it's one of the best things about this documentary is you took some of the more modern tools that the, the the ideas and experiments that i personally have been saying we should have been doing for years and you you went and, and tested at you know at that tiwanaku in at the serapium in these barbara caves in india you did uh, 3D scanning of of some of these um, spaces and stuff, and I think the data you must have collected and the evidence you show in that documentary should be advancing this discussion significantly because it's frankly astonishing. Like the results you found, like it's unbelievable. I hope so. Uh, I hope so. I, there, there's a lot of topics uh, to discuss. So, but, uh, you, as you know, the subject is so huge that we can talk for hours and hours. Yeah. So. Um, uh, if you have some precise question on ban, I, I, I can try to answer. What what uh, we, we we decide to do this with the um, with the the, the, the tools uh, because in revelation of the pyramids we were with Chris Chris Dunn yeah. and uh, with the other people and we just using like uh, uh, some but it, it was at the it was not a normal. Um, uh, rulers, I don't know if it's the, the, yeah, the, no, precision uh, tools like straight edges yeah, and, and precision very squares. precision tool because he, yeah. he uses uh, 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 on the marble on the verified, so it's very precise tool. But yeah. but it was not not enough because we are putting on the block and they say yes, but you are putting in and you put your camera and you are because you you are manipulating some people and yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know. Yeah. So uh, we say okay, okay, uh, you know what. Uh, we are convinced our team when we're looking at the the, 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 the the site, the major site of the planet, we are convinced that there's a science before before it, the, the theory, theoretical science and then practical science, the engineering. Yep. And we it's for sure with the Barbar caves, with the pyramids, the same. Even if your science is just writing on the on the sand. But you have to calculate to, to, to work on it. Uh, so you have to prepare this. You can't say, OK, let's do a wall and then let's see. No, you have to prepare this. So and it's very precise. And so we say uh, we think uh, a science will recognize another science. But the problem is just is just that, uh, for example, in Puma Punku, we went there with uh, our rugosimator. And you remember, we, we were with a geologist. And the, the geologist says for, on the first day, so he came from uh, the academic uh, part of the world. And he knew uh, not Puma Punku, but he knew all the techniques to, uh, to cut stones and to polish, to uh, in, in everything. And he always try to explain with the normal conception. And when he go to the site and say, okay, look at this. Yeah, it's very flat, and, uh, I just block. But uh, 
I can do this with the copper on the sands on the it's huge, huge work, but it's possible. And I was smiling uh, inside of me because I knew the site and I said, okay, okay. Maybe Rick, you have to, to spend time so why don't you use your the regosimator because it costed a lot for us. So yeah. please two thousand euros this, uh, this uh, yeah i know tool. i've looked at I, you made me go and look at them i i, I was like how much are these things i'm like oh man i can't yeah that's expensive. <laughs> it's too expensive expensive tool yeah. expensive. so but what what is uh very strange is that uh, uh this guy eric the geologist is working on one of the most famous organism state organism in in uh, france but it's us that are, are paying some tools to this guy so it's not yeah. normal yeah and then he went and uh, he tried to do with the rugosimeter and he, the, the surface and uh, it's you know, like it's uh, 30 microns. Wow, <laughs> 30 microns. It's uh, 10, le uh, 10 times less precise than the, um, uh, the concrete, the Polish concrete, you know, the, the, that you use in uh, um, uh, kitchens. Or... And uh, it, it was his part uh, thing because Yes, of course, it's possible with a stone to, to get something very flat. Yeah. And even I can do something if I have time, if I put granite uh, blocks and uh, I have some sands, for example, from a, a quartz, um, a crystal quartz, small, very yep. small. Yep. And then I use a thing and I do like this for hours and hours and hours and hours. Okay, with yeah. a big uh, part of stone, like uh, maybe another part of granite. granite. Okay, if I do this for a very long time, I will get, and if I change uh, at the end my um, uh, abrasive powder, yep. and then I put some very uh, Small. uh, smaller thing, I will get pol uh, a polish mi mirror, polish, like you, what you have in Sarah Perm in Baraba. Okay, for sure. Okay, because I use the gravity and then I put. Yep. But when you have some uh, a very uh, 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 strange part like uh, angles, internal angles, or a surface like on the Puma Punku, when you go to, uh, you have the, I, I have one here. When you go yeah, the here, H block, yep. yep. Yes, when you go here, inside, here, 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 out. In, in, in this part, in this part, okay? Yep. Yeah. How can you polish? And uh, the, 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 the edge block are not polished. They are, the, 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 yes, they are flat, but not polished. Uh, it's mm -hmm. not like mirror. But uh, for this, if I put my block like this, it's easy. But for this part, and yeah. this part, and this part, it was yeah. his first question, questions. And then we try to measure. And if you measure, and I was very happy to see that uh, two archaeologists came uh, 130 years before us, and they did some measure. It's one meter high and one meter large. Okay. Yeah. Here is uh, 30 centimeters. Here is 20 centimeters. There's two things here is that we measure on one blocks and another blocks and another blocks and look you see in the movie say okay it's 20 centimeters and this one is 21.9 and this one is 29.1 okay what's the problem it's on three blocks it's the same it's the same for the so he, he at this time he discovered first that they are metric systems mm -hmm. the, the, the metric uh, measurements uh, or look like metric measurements. Metric, yeah. First, the, the, the third thing. But the second thing is that uh, uh, they put, they, they have made one block uh, with very flat surfaces because it's uh, 30 microns, microns from the point, uh, the higher point and the lower point of yep. the surface. Yep. It's absolute, not relative. Okay. It's, it's important to precise this because when you see, this kind of value for the glass, for example, yeah. it's not absolute. It's it's given. It's uh, given with uh, relative. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yes. So so uh, uh, if we used relative uh, measurement, it will be better, far better than thirty uh, microns. But we, it's not a contest. Yeah. We just want to, 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 to understand this. But when you see this and you say, okay, uh, it's, uh, it's very flat surface, but it, it's everywhere. And the, the dimension 
um, with unique blocks because no one has exactly the same shapes. That's right. Yeah, they, they're all a little bit different, right? Yeah. Yes, just a small difference. But all the blocks have some uh, measurements in, in common. And so yeah. uh, you see, but this guy, I love this guy because it's, it varies, his scientists very honest. It was speaking about tools and um, uh, abrasion at the beginning it, with the, his knowledge coming from academic and his uh, first observation, but with the naked eyes, just this. And he was looking at this, okay, 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 yes, it's huge work, but uh, it's possible. possible. Yeah. But when you know how precise the block is on the other block, and say, okay, it's not possible. Yeah. I don't know how they made this, but it's not possible. And the problem is exactly this one. Why are we, or Chris, Chris Dunn, has made some measurement a long time ago with another tool, the different tool, as us, but why is... Uh, it, it's only alternative researcher uh, mm. who are doing this job. Yeah. When they are, uh, I think, because I didn't farm it, I think they are hypothesis uh, for the, the, the making of the H blocks. I don't know even if they need some hypothesis. They say, okay, uh, we know how the Incas were working the stone. So they have made it with this kind of tools, period. Okay. Do it. But yeah. why? Well, it's not, we don't care. It's too complicated. We don't, and uh, it will, won't change your life. It, it, they, at this time, they had some simple tools. So they have made with simple tools. And the problem is this one is the um, first uh, story is uh, um, um, uh, orientated your, your look. And it says because because uh, for two uh, the two things they said okay the H blocks were for the king I don't know Inca and it yeah. was uh, each his H block for his, his death his, it's his tomb and why there are so much H uh, blocks because uh, he loved H blocks but why uh, on the side. Because he wanted andesite because it was very complicated to find andesite at this particular point of Bolivia. And he wanted this guy to show how, how deep they believe in him and, you know, a lot of things like this. Yeah. And then you can't think normally. Because if you go on the site and you see this and you say, oh, what is this? We don't know. Right. And if I show this to the world and I say, hey, guys, do you have an ID? What is this? It's totally different if I say, oh, it's the H block of the, the king, uh, Papa Kulta, that was very fond of, uh, et cetera, et cetera, you know? Yeah, yeah. When you say the Great Pyramid is the a tomb, or not a tomb, uh, they call it a cenotaph. Is, it, yep. is there this word? Yes, in English. So, uh, of course. It's not a tomb. They, 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 they no mummy inside, or no yeah. mummy inside uh, a, any pyramid of the first, the, the, the first dynasty. So they say it's a cenotaph. Okay, it's a cenotaph. But when you say it, 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 it's very strange, no, as a cenotaph, it's a, why they make the great gallery? Yeah, all these chambers. Don't, yeah. don't think it's religious. It's spiritual. It's for the gods. It's ceremonial. Don't try to understand there's no logic at all because it was a silly people. Okay, they were great. They were making pyramids, but they were silly because they were not as clever as we are now with our technology and things. So don't try to, because if they were clever, clever guys, they didn't have made these uh, pyramids totally, uh, uh, I don't know, inutile, inutile. When you don't use something, uh, it's useless, useless, useless. Is this? Yeah. Okay, this pyramid is totally useless. If you want, if we have to buy something like this today, it will be a big mall with a parking <laughs> and a lot of things because you can't yeah. have 230 meters uh, base and 440 uh, high just for three chambers. It's uh, it has no sense, you know. 
Yeah. And so we so we can't understand this. And you know, his story is um, orienting orientating the, the the look. And then you can look for because if you think uh, on this on this block, I don't know where it has been crafted. I don't know uh, when. I don't know what it is and what's the function of this. Let at this time everything is open. Yeah. And everybody can think about this and try to understand what it is, really. Yeah. But if you say it's a tomb, it's part of a manual effect, then, yeah. and it has made by the Incas and the, the guys say, even if an engineer say, I'm not interested by this, by the, the work of a, a guy that were living in the Andes, uh, they, 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 they were primitive people, because we are always representing this guy uh, almost naked, and uh, uh, um, uh, with their knife, doing some sacrificial. Part. Right. So you you know the the thing is, the, if we look at the pyramids like a tomb, uh, if it's the tomb of the king Kiers, okay. So you have to build it in less than the the reign of the of pharaoh. his life. Yep. Yes. So it's less than twenty five years uh, almost, because nobody is uh, agree with the. Um, the, the, the duration of right. the, the, the reign of chaos. And they don't they, they, they don't agree about the day the um, it starts. It's the same. Right. Yeah. And at the, at this time you have first you know how long it took for sure. And then you know what it is. <clears throat> so you don't have to look for another function because the function is obvious. It's, it's a, a tomb. tomb. Yeah. Yes. So uh, let's and then nobody think about this. And yeah. you, you know what is what is very, um, um, it's not normal too, is that nobody has made uh, as statues as much statues uh, or obelisk or temples or <laughs> than Egyptian uh, people. Yeah, particularly. Nobody's. Ramses the Great, the hugest statue, the tallest statue of the world, uh, yep. with the, the statue of Francis that Christian studied and say their face are symmetrical. <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah. What, what, what are they doing? Archaeologists, so go go to 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 this fax and try to verify this. But they don't. They have made more than thirty. Uh, it's about three uh, thirty hundred statues in granite. Yeah. Does anyone, any people on the planet has, has made uh, the same? Nobody, nobody. Yeah. Nobody has built a temple as big as in Egypt. Nobody has built obelisk or columns as big as in Egypt in materials that are hard yep. as granite or right. diorite or basalt. Or... Nobody has made this. So. We, we never have, have made it, uh, have, uh, we, 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 don't, we don't know how it, it has been made. We never made it uh, since they have made this, but we know exactly the, 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 the way that, that, that they have made uh, with yeah. only rudimentary tool. We, we don't even know what I, what I wanted to do is that we don't even know if it's possible because nobody has made done it, what done. yes what they made I, so yeah, it's crazy it's not science it's not right. science yeah well and that's that's an issue i have with the whole field is is exactly as you said like we we the way history modern history seems to at least modern archaeology and egyptology seems to work is exactly like you said we look at we're looking at the past through our own perspective and the we we have to have find an answer that's within this perspective you know it's we have to, and it's like as if we, all of our knowledge is a superset of what the ancients knew. But I, I think some of these answers, as you say, are probably outside of our perspective. And it's only going to take, I mean, the only solution is to look at this stuff with a more open mind and, and to throw out some of these assumptions that we have. Because, I mean, it's it's difficult to even call archaeology and, and Egyptology, at least the story of history, this perspective, that's... As you say, it's not science. It's not a hard science. Like it's literally, it, it's it's almost like a religion. You, you're you're interpreting. We're interpreting a set of of 
of incomplete evidence. Like it's a story that, that we have this evidence. We know we have the objects, you know, we have the pyramids, we have the obelisks, we have the columns, we have the buildings, we have what the Egyptians wrote down, we have all of that stuff. And that's an incomplete set of evidence. And, and what we do is we kind of plaster this story that, that tries to tie that together. And it's like, you just, we, 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 we use that story to ignore a lot of the gaps in the evidence and, and, and whatnot, and use that story to dismiss anything that's alternative, uh, that, that contradicts this story. And I think, and unfortunately, the way the world works today is, is that you have this, this establishment that's been built up around this story, like the, this, this, this regular story of history. And this is the people that are in tenured positions in, in universities, and they're the academics that write the textbooks, and their their livelihood and their their personal power and sense of self and authority is tied up in this story. So, so when alternative researchers like you, your 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 movie, or me and my little YouTube channel, or guys like Chris Dunn come along and challenge, you know, they they pre present evidence that challenges this story. That the reaction is. It's as if they're being personally attacked, like that their own their position and their authority is being challenged. So it, it, it's very hard to get a debate started. It's very hard to actually approach this stuff with an open mind because it feels like you just end up with things like, you know, what John Hoops, who's the professor of uh, anthropology at Kansas State University, did to Graham Hancock in the one of the latest publications in the American Journal of Archaeology. They just... They just they keep just throw out oh you guys must think the aliens built it or it's it's all Atlantis and Bigfoot and starships and all this crystal nonsense you know like that's not you know that it's it it doesn't that's not a debate like that they're just trying to no. dismiss this stuff but it's yeah I, th no. I think that's the challenge it's like there's this a story that's been wrapped up around all this evidence of history and now that the story is kind of protected by the weight of establishment and it's been very difficult to challenge that but. Yeah, I mean, I and I, I don't know what's the reception been like with Bam. Has there been any any dialogue? If you, <laughs> I can see you laughing. But, um, what 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 we have? Uh, uh, so after uh, after Revelation of the Pyramid, I I wanted to do um, a movie more uh, serious because I, I I I wanted to drop the the. Um, the of narrative. course, it's like a, the narrative. There's a, always a narrative with a woman because I, uh, I thought the the, the the voice of a woman was uh, better than my voice. Um, and, uh, but I, I, I want it to be. Uh, it's like uh, the the revelation of the pyramid is like space mountains, and um, uh, Bam is like uh, you, you go with your I don't know the the word, but you, with your plane, you know. Uh, the plane without motor, okay? A glider. So you, yes, and you go, and it's a long trip. The movie is longer, and is uh, 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 soft, softer. Yep. Because I wanted to 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 make a tool for people that are a bit advanced in the subject, or uh, people that uh, uh, which have discovered who have discovered um, uh, revelation of the pyramids and they know the subject. And I wanted to give them um, a, a tool to, to explain the subject. And uh, that's why BAM, I say, say, has been made like this. And we will go more and more with the technology and the new technology. Because they try to explain that uh, we ask some guys that are uh, living in the past and you have to choose between the modern life or go back uh, like hunter-gatherers. And it's always the same bullshit. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think just that the technology has been has to be to the service of human and not the opposite. And right. what, what they are doing, it's technology that are, are making us slaves of the technology. Yeah. But uh, it, it, it's so it's a, a strange way uh, of seeing the, 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 the things and they're, and they're lying when they are expanding their genus. Uh, they, they are just this this model of world, this system, and no more. In this or the caverns, when you say oh, bullshit, did you know there's some uh, other way, other path we can be more respectful for for the the, the, the nature, for example. Mm -hmm. And uh, so so uh, uh, we wanted, and I think for sure that we will discover a lot of things in the in the next uh, ten years. Um, uh, with a lot of uh, high technology tools, because we will try to 
to go deep in the ground and uh, with non-invasive um, uh, um, uh, investigation. Yeah. And uh, so we will we will discover a lot of things. But what I wanted to 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 because I, I think it's this is part of the problem is that uh, the human being is a believer. Uh, they believe in God, but if you uh, cut God, if you put something, it, 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 uh, it's not this. If 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 you um, uh, throw God, and you say no 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 no, become an atheist and a, a thing like this and concrete, yeah. we use the atheism as a religion. Yes, because yes. we are we are um, we are believer and strong in our soul because the. The, the first way of, the, of a human uh, uh, work is the, with the emotional system. And the emotional system go with the belief, the way of believing. And then the reason uh, is just trying to justify what our emotion make us. It's like, we, yeah. basically, yeah. basically, we act like this. And uh, you, you told us uh, Egyptology or archaeology of the past look like a religion. Yes, it's the same. Because if you, you have to go to uh, someone, maybe a uh, uh, Jehovah Witness, and uh, try to tell him God is not, it does not exist. And you will see what you, you, you it, it will be two hours, maybe three hours or four hours or explaining you and, and with uh, anger and a lot of things. And uh, it's exactly the same. When, uh, when, when, when you go and you say, are you sure it's 20 years? And you say, okay, oh, you pyramid yet. And you say, okay, yeah. we're sure. But how can you be so sure? Because there's no archive, no text, no testimony at the time. There's nothing. So yeah. where did you where did you get the, the, this 20 years? Ah, it was uh, in Herodot, Herodotus. Yep. You know Herodotus, it was, uh, it's uh, 500 uh, century before Christ. And uh, Herodotus, when it's uh, at least 2,000 years, uh, 2,000, yes, 2,000 years be, be, uh, after the, 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 the supposed date of the constructs of the building of the pyramid, okay? Yep. So it's the same time as for the Christ, the age of the Christ, and now. Yep. Uh, you know, if I say, Ben, I, I want to tell you something about the Christ, uh, what happened, and uh, you know, uh, his brother John, a uh, lot of things, <laughs> and uh, and you will say, oh, you sure of it? Yeah, 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 I'm sure of it because it's my aunt and my aunt, I mean, something. A lot of people, uh, the priest, and he has told me this, and you say, yes, but it's two uh, thousand years, so it's, it's, it's a long, a big, big. Um, so uh, uh, Herodotus told us that uh, it was the, the, the tomb of uh, Cheops and it has been built in 20 years. And, but he has said a lot of uh, uh, wrong things too. Yep. He has said that the pyramid was uh, as um, high than it, uh, the, 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 the base. And that's not true. And if you, if you were on the Giza Plateau, you see obviously that it's not possible. Right. And the more you go uh, uh, far from the pyramid, and the more you see, it's not possible. And Herodotus was a clever guy. He was not, he was a smart guy. He was, he, he was not uh, a guy because he, he was considered a, as the father of uh, history. Yep. But you, yep. when you see the testimony given by the priest 2,000 years before the, the, the super date uh, of the, the building of the pyramids, uh, they, what they say is that... Uh, uh, Cheops was uh, not liked by these people. Uh, he, he, he put his country uh, uh, to the ruin. Uh, they had no money left. Then they say, but you have to care about this because it's an uh, ancient way of uh, speaking. But mm -hmm. he has prostituted his, his, his daughter. And yeah. it was yeah. one stone for one... Uh, I, I don't know mm. the, the, the word, but... There's a lot of things not, and he say in this text, he says that uh, Cheops is laying in another place, uh, not the pyramid. And he says he's lying in an island uh, on the, through the Giza Plateau. It's not exactly uh, formulated like this, but uh, that he said for the, from the beginning, he said that Cheops is not in the pyramid yeah. because the, 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 the mummy is uh, everywhere, elsewhere. 
And so they had this and this, te this testimony. And so I tried to, to go in the, the testimony and to read it and to find a lot of things uh, about the pyramid. And I start to say, okay, I'm not sure about this because I'm st I was start to uh, smiling, laughing at this uh, testimony. And I say, okay, guys, it's just a testimony. It's not a proof. Right. So do you have anything else? Because I'm, I'm not satisfied with this. I'm sorry. But um, yes, you can believe um, there's two solutions. You accept the testimony and you accept the whole testimony or you reject the testimony. But you can't accept some parts and reject some other because it's like you pick what you want. And, uh, so I, I, I tried and I made a video on the, this explaining the, the, the text and was like a YouTube video. So I was, I was laughing and made a lot. And Egyptologists came to me and they said, oh, what is it? your video is just uh, nonsense because we don't believe uh, Herodotus. And I said, okay, you don't believe Herodotus? Oh, so great. So maybe you believe uh, Jodor de Sicile? The, the, I don't know the, the, his name in uh, English, uh, Diodor. Uh, Diodor oh, Diodorus Diodor. Siculus. Diodorus uh, Siculus? Yes, maybe. C yes, Siculus. Yeah. Siculus, yeah. Yes. And he, he, he was uh, born uh, maybe 300 years after um, uh, yep. Herodot Her Herodotus. Sounds I think. Right, yeah. Or maybe more, maybe more. I don't remember exactly, but. but uh, uh, but this uh, this testimony is um, is uh, three hundred right years after the testimony of um, of Herodotus. So we have don't we don't have uh, proof, and we don't know if uh, you have, uh, took some parts of Herodotus. Or no. And uh, they say no, no, no. We don't use this. Uh, we use this because um, uh, there's the name of uh, the king Cheops uh, written in the one um, uh, part of the the upper chamber. Yeah. You know? yeah place yeah and i said oh yes yes so this uh, megalomaniac uh, king uh, has put his um, his his name in in, in the toilets the, <laughs> it, it, outside the, it's uh, the opposite uh, on the door and he has put oh, yes yes of, you have to know uh, this is the tomb of the biggest king of the world but i put it <laughs> there yeah. in his place yeah. uh, graham went there i i, I didn't have to uh, uh, I, I was not lucky uh, enough to see this with yeah. my eyes because each time I went there, it was uh, closed. But Graham, I've seen this, and yep. Graham um, Cock has concluded that uh, yes, it's, 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 it seems to be authentic. Okay, the name is written there, okay, and the name is uh, written on the papyrus uh, coming from the Waji El Darf. Uh, it's the Meher papyrus. Have you, you heard about this? This uh, papyrus find uh, very recently because it was in 2013. Okay. And uh, the, this papyrus is explaining that they have put some stones from the Torah um, uh, um, uh, career and they put some blocks and the, 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 they put the blocks to the site of Giza. And with just this, because there's no more of this, they say this is the proof of the construction of the pyramids under the reign of Cheops in Egypt in this date, okay? Mm. Uh, first, it doesn't prove this. It no. just proves that we're using the, the, the limestones of Tura. Uh, they took some blocks of limestones of Tura and they put on the, the site, the Giza site. And there's a lot of things made with the limestone of uh, Tura on the Giza plateau. And the limestone of Tura is just for the, the pavement. The yeah. outside is the, 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 the limestone used to put, to, to, to create the Great Pyramid is, uh, uh, it's not the same. It's coming from the, the plateau, another place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know there's different so, types of limestone there. Yeah. Yes, so this is not a proof. It's the proof, okay, at this time, there were king called Cheops, okay. Uh, it's not Cheops, huh? it's uh, Hufu. Hufu um, yeah. And the king was living uh, at this time, okay. But where is the proof that it's a uh, cenotaph or a tomb? And they say, but look, it's obvious. And they say, why it's obvious? Okay, let me, 
let us consider the father of uh, Cheops, Snefru. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was going to mention Snefru earlier yeah, with all of his yeah. pyramids. And Snefru has, uh, there's, there's two hypotheses. I mean, they, they are not agree with this. Uh, because uh, Snefru is supposed to have uh, finished the first one, the pyramid of Maidum. Yep. Okay. Or may maybe it was his father, Huni, but Snefru finished it. It was at the beginning, they, 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 they were saying before that it was the, the pyramid of his father, uh, yeah. exact. But the, the pyramid was unfinished. So it was uh, Snefru that uh, first finished the, the pyramid of his father. And then he made the pyramid, uh, Rhomboidal bent. pyramid, uh, the, the bent, you, you bent call it pyramid. the bent pyramid. And uh, which is an uh, incredible pyramid. And when yeah. you go and you see the pavement, and the, it's incredible on the, the inside, the internal structure. I'm going and in, I'm it, go I get to go in, in that in a couple of weeks, hopefully. Like they've opened yeah. it up now, so I'll be going great. in there in a couple of weeks. Great. So do a lot of, a lot of uh, picture and shooting yeah. inside. And then, <clears throat> so he, he, he did the, 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 the bent pyramid and then the red pyramid. Red pyramid. Okay. So if it's a cenotaph, why uh, did this king need two or three? Because the other hypothesis is that he, he built the three. And the yeah. first one of Maidum was not the pyramid of his father. It, it was his, his own pyramid, its own yeah. pyramid. So why is there three or two cenotaphs or tombs or what you want? No, there's no sense, no written, nothing yeah. ever. We don't have proof. And they, we have to be honest, we don't know what it is. Yeah, I agree. Because the, all the kings, all the kings are in other place. Yeah. And we find some mummies in other place and in royal times. So, so, but when and, you and, say and all the artwork and all that, there's so much that that we know what their tombs looked like. You know, like there's lots of tombs around the Giza plateau. They used, they built necropolises all around these pyramids. But you just don't have the same. The, the insides of these pyramids aren't. They're not the same as the tombs. I mean, it's just not. Yeah, I mean, I'm and I'm and I'm skeptical about the the Cheops, the Khufu. Uh, hieroglyph that's up in the relieving chair. I know Graham thinks it's authentic because he seems to, he thinks that maybe part of it goes underneath the block. But I, I'm 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 a little I want to see them. I do want to see somebody because it looks like it's been sampled. I really would be interested in seeing that the paint carbon dated. Uh, yeah. I don't think it's happened, or at least it hasn't been published. I can't find any results of anyone doing it. There's a lot of controversy yeah. around how that happened up there. Why didn't they have made this? Because it was a proof on an indisputable proof. It would be, yeah. Yes, it would be. You, 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 if you're sure, you're sure that the the the, the, the written the scripture and the, the, as you say, it's it's some paints of some mineral, there may be some organic parts inside. Yeah, it does. So let's do a dat datation. It, and, and, and it would can, it would you be can put it to the world and to yeah. say, okay, look, the name written, it's this date. No, yeah. there's nothing. It's I, like I, like you can't study the relics, you know. Yeah. If you want to go to the the swear of Turin, you you remember the Sphinx of uh, the Christ. Yeah, yes, I've the, been to Turin. Yeah, the the the, 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 the piece of uh, the cloth. And, yes, and it's not possible to 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 go on it and just to to analyze. Yeah. Yes, to taste it. So. Uh, they don't want us, you, you know, it's, um, I, I will do uh, like a religious comparison because I, I, I'm not in, a, um, of course, I'm, my mind is very open and I'm open to spiritual point of view yeah. and I've made Same. a lot of people around the world, shamanic people, a lot of things and I, I, I have no, no beliefs. I just, my, my feeling, my impression, I think the world is more complicated, but I have no answers at all yeah. and i'm living like this but to keeping in my mind that uh, there's something maybe something bigger than, than us but i have no proof and uh, but i and i i love the religions and the, and the, the religious uh, feeling because uh, i think uh, it, it, the, the range has to, uh, has to, has to uh, uh, make people to go together uh, it's not. It's very difficult. I mean, if you look at the true history, it's uh, it's not what happened. But at the beginning, it was this, 
and uh, just make people to, to, to human to be more humble. Because uh, when, you think, when you think you're the boss, this is the exact result we have today on the planet. When, right. you, when you think we are the masters, well, here what should we do? So I think when you think that there's uh, someone, something, something bigger than you, maybe you, you, you can stay more humble. But if you remember in the, in the, the, the New Testament, just testimony, uh, Jesus was, uh, the, the, the Christ was uh, blaming the people and they say, look, you have took the, the, the key of the temple and you have locked the temple so that nobody can go inside. They exactly did the same with all this. Each time I go there, I need to, 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 um, to say uh, to people that I go here and I go there because I, if I need an authorization to do my, my movie, my, my, my pictures, it costs me a lot. Uh, yeah. uh, but I don't have the authorization to do uh, 3D scan or thing like this in Egypt. I can do this in uh, Baba, but in Egypt, it's not possible. It's too expensive for me. They ask for uh, 500,000 euros, but who can pay this? It's because we're a TV guy, so we're making a lot of money, so yeah, we have sure. to pay. They don't know the reality of the, 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 the economy of the movie like BAM or <laughs> Revolution of the yeah. Not at all. Uh, <clears throat> but the, 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 the thing is that they act... Uh, what, why I'm they, saying this? They've locked it, the temple door. Yes, it's a temple door. But what I'm saying this, it's not, um, sometimes it's not something made intentional. Uh, it's not conspiracy uh, of archaeologists. A war, big conspiracy of archaeologists. They knew exactly the thing and they don't want to say to, to the people. It's uh, totally, for me, it's nonsense. Uh, of course, there's a lot of politics doing uh, has, that has to do with archaeology that have to do with archaeology, yeah. Because the the, 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 the archaeology is doing it's playing with history, and as I told you, history is politics, and sometimes uh, it's 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 very complicated that to to say in a country that look you're not the first. So they they, they are very uh, they, they they pay attention with the results on. And sometimes you have some nationalist guys and they use and they pay some archaeologists to have a certain type of, uh, of work. And, uh, you know, yep. so, so uh, sometimes you have some traffic uh, uh, sending a lot of things and you have seen with the wars in uh, Iraq, uh, Syria, and the, the, all the, the museum has been uh, 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 stolen and a lot of things are now on the, the art of uh, market of art. Uh, so that's not normal, but that's a fact. And, uh, and it, it, but it, to the archaeologists is that they are, their mind has, has formatted by what they, 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 they told and they explained to them at the university and they explained that what we are making, the look we have with the, the stones and things, just uh not serious work so right. if you what they say if you believe that the pyramid has been made by aliens or uh, uh, people with the uh, like uh, fish uh, play uh, uh, atlantis. Uh, yes in atlantis but they, they say you know it's like uh, you i don't know if uh, if you have known this the the the, the man coming from the uh, atlanta uh, from atlantis mark harris it was an american uh, series uh, series uh, old, 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 and it was with a guy called Patrick Duffy, and he he was wearing a yellow. Uh, ja uh, well, sorry, it's a <laughs> fish thing. <laughs> well, but but when you speak about Atlantis, they imagine a guy uh, that is swimming, swimming like and living yeah. under the sea. And uh, it's always uh, using words like uh, it's word like just to uh, in, in order to to, to uh, destroy your reputation to yeah, to show that you're not. And, uh, but uh, what I what, what I want to ask to this guy and I say okay okay you have made an hypothesis okay sure the, the for example the Puma Bunkustan okay you have made your hypothesis and you say. They have made this with the copper chisel, with the sands, and with what do you want? Um, 
but uh, did you have you measured this block? Yes, yes, yes. Where are you measure? Right, it's here. It's about uh, almost one meter and one meter. And the other? No. Oh, so you didn't uh, measure all the, the blocks? No, no, no. Okay, okay. And uh, have you measured the surface, the roughness of no. the, the surface? No. Why? But why not? But just in order to, to understand to understand what the, the the surface to see how flat it is. But for what purpose? To just to see if maybe it has been made with another tool. Ah, oh, okay, understand. Are you thinking about the aliens, about the ladder tools? You know, yeah. it, it can't go like this. And you say it's not possible to formulate some hypothesis if you don't have all the, the characteristic of the object you are studying. Yeah. So they have made some hypothesis on the Barbar Caves. But nobody has measured the barbar case as we measured the roughness yeah. of the surface and the scan because the 3D scan gives you all the measurements you want. And what we discovered with the, the 3D scan was far uh, uh, more interesting and surprising than what we, we have seen. Because you, we have discovered something with the 3D scans that you can't see with the naked eyes. And uh, I, I will do a special movie on the Barbar Caves because yeah. uh, it took me three years to find the money. It's not a lot of money because it's, uh, it was less than 10,000 euros. But for um, uh, my company uh, that produced by me, independent company, it's a lot of money. Yeah. And I, it took me three years to find this uh, budget, this money. To, uh, to order the, the wall ana analyse analysis of the 3D scan. And so they went to all the numbers because have you, seen, you have seen in BAM, I just say the, the, the cave are symmetrical, okay? But I don't uh, tell to people how symmetrical are they because at this time I, have, I had no measurements. But in February this year, I want to uh, shoot the result of this report. On this report, it's uh, it's about two hours uh, of just facts, and we have you have an engineer explaining that uh, you find the walls that it's slightly tilted to uh, it's uh, eighty seven point five degrees, for example, yep, yep. but the variation of the angle is just four uh, four tenths of a degree. <laughs> on eight meters okay yeah it's insane yes it's totally insane but how can you formulate uh, an hypothesis if you don't know this and the, i've seen the hypothesis of the the, the building of barabar and yeah. they show us and they say okay they went and uh, it's, it's, <laughs> the, 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 the copper is not a copper chisel it's an iron chisel because yeah sure yeah my friend so it's uh, one <laughs> level more uh, it's uh, so iron chisel, but it's, it's already the same with the modern mallet and then, uh, all of things. Yes. So, so you were you were filming uh, the results. You said in February of this year you went and and, and filmed the results of the bar because that that was honestly I have to say that that was the the, the Barbara Caves was the biggest surprise in in Bam for me. I hadn't. I was I was I was just a, I was a, a slightly aware that these granite caves existed, but. I had no idea, like once, you know, just the information that you shared in BAM in terms of the flatness and the precision. And it's it's the same problem that you have with things like the Serapium box. It's this, you have this incredible precision and, and what makes it astonishing is the, that the precision is also, it's relative to, e to each other surface. So if you, if you mess up anywhere in that cave, when you make it, you then have to change the geometry of the entire cave to get it yeah. back aligned. And, and that's not what we see there, right? It's, it's it's just that's the the degree of precision in this one single piece with faces relative to each other is kind of mind boggling. It's it's um, I, I totally um, I, I, I totally agree with uh, with you when you say it's uh, remarkable and uh, uh, we know the pyramids we know the Peru we know the, the all this this this, this place. And uh, there's a lot of, of discussion topics uh, about the subject for years and years. 
I've seen one pictures of Baraba. It was about ten years ago, and uh, it was in a website. And they, I, I, I didn't knew at this time they, they, they didn't precise it was in India. Uh, it was like a Google search, you know, the Google image search that made me yeah. understand where it was. And uh, at the time, there were some comparison with the uh, Serapeum. I, I, I thought the, the, the picture of the Barba case was in uh, the Serapeum. It was the same because at, the, at this time, I didn't know the, the Serapeum. I didn't want to the Serapeum. And um, uh, I, I, I said to myself, I have to go there. And um, we went there. And at this, uh, because it, um, this is a thing very important, I think, in, when you are doing some research, um, it's follow your intuition. Um, it's sometimes difficult because you have some scientists, uh, modern scientists now, they, 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 they don't like intuition and they say, no, it's not true, it doesn't work, and it's bullshit, right. it's a pseudoscience. But uh, when you talk with a, a very a good scientist, they all speak about this kind of thing, the idea, the world that that, that, that come into their mind and just something and to, to it, it's it's not something um, uh, mystical or it's not God speaking to the, the people. It's just we have some senses and uh, we don't uh, apprehend the life from the, the only with our mind and we have some senses, some some something different and sometimes we have some idea and we went. And we have the impre impression that uh, the feeling that uh, it's too perfect. It's too perfect. But uh, we didn't see uh, that it was symmetrical, for example. Uh, we made a few, a few times uh, to notice that uh, it was slightly tilted yeah, and not yeah. vertical. Because it's very difficult to see, to see it. Um, it's uh, it's very difficult to to, to, to to see it when we you go because there's no not much light so that's make it uh, difficult to 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 shoot uh, not much light it's very and, it's a, and it's very small and it's reflective uh, right so any light you do yes. put in there is just reflecting everywhere yes and uh, so that's why I, I went on March to to do another pictures with different matter different camera to show. Because in band, sometimes you, you, you could have the feeling that it's not totally uh, 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 like glass, uh, yeah. mirror, yeah. Every, but it's mirror everywhere. Yeah. But yeah. sometimes the light is going through the crystal of the, 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 the part of the quartz. Yep. And yeah. then what you see is not the, the it's, it's the... the um, the crystal uh, inside the stone. Yes, yes. You're so not the, seeing the actual surface, yes, I understand. Yes. Yeah. And so you have the impression that the wall is uh, like this. Wavy. But yes, because the, right. the, the crystal quartz are totally, uh, they disappear. They are totally yeah. translucent and, and they disappear. So uh, let, me, let, me ask, let, me ask, let me ask you this about that case. So it, this is the same case from what I understand that it's as kind of like the Serapium in that you have these precision objects, call them the caves, but then you have this sort of primitive writing on the outside on some of them. And so two questions. One is, I mean, I'm assuming the primitive writing is kind of how they date them in the orthodox realm. And it's, it's obviously at a different level of technology. But the other thing is, is are, are all the caves finished? Is, it, is there one there that does it look like this is one of those sites where, um, where work stopped suddenly? Like there was, as I, I think I'm remembering that there was, is there one of these caves that isn't quite all finished and, and as yeah, if like, you know. Two, two unfinished caves because unfinished there's five, caves. five finished caves and then you have two more unfinished caves. But uh, you have one, uh, one which is um, uh, isolated in a place and you have the, it's not different from the other because all the caves, it's just a part of the rocks. And then you have an uh, entrance. Uh, um, you, you, you will have to illustrate all this. And I, I, I will send a lot of pictures if you Thank want. Thank you. To, yeah, that'd be great. This, okay? But you, so you have the rocks, and then you have the entrance, and you go, and you have a small corridor, it's, it's one meter, in one meter and a half. And then you, you go inside the, 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 the granite uh, rock. And this one is not the, the the corridor is very big, very very big, 
and then you go um you you go I, I it, it will be better better with my um, up 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 took my my book it's not existing now in uh, in english uh, I'm looking for partners. Uh, maybe it's the the, the, the right place. <laughs> I'm looking for partners to from for the DVD on the book and uh, because we have made a, a huge book yeah, with a lot injury. of wow. yes, lot of pictures and uh, it's a 900 pictures and it's wow. uh, a 400 and it's it's by, bam but in book. Uh, awesome. more extended there's a lot of things and the rhythm is different and I just wanted people to have some support when they want to speak about the, this to uh, their friends uh, to, to, to have uh, you know there's all the, 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 the free discounts and uh, things oh, like wow. this yeah. yes and the, the caves we are um, you have the first one the first unfinished cave is this one yeah okay so the shape is uh, quite like the other, you know, it's like the Star Trek uh, ship. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of look like but that. But the particular shape. Uh, and uh, what's interesting is that we have superimposed the, this one and the, the, the finished one uh, with this 3D scan. Because we, yeah. you can do a lot of things with the 3D, the, the yeah. 3D scan. And then so you have this, this one. But this one, they think... And archaeology thinks that it's uh, 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 coming after. It's one of the latest uh, cave. Okay, this one. So it's unfinished, but it's the latest. But uh, if you go inside, you see that. Um, let's see. There's some. Um, there's some mark. There's some mark. Peak mark on the the vault. Uh, yeah. And all these things show that, um, you know, if you have, as you said, if you go into granite and if you go and you dig into a surface like this, if you make a mistake, it's uh, the, the, the cave is uh, it's not OK. And, um, ah, so that, so that might you, be what happened. Yeah, so they, they have to use if if because I, I don't want to discuss about the nature of the tools because I don't know. So yeah. uh, I, I don't yeah. care. You, you 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 speak about rudimentary tools. Okay, let's use rudimentary tools. So you start first with the pick. Okay, I don't know the word, but to 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 pick yeah. because you can uh, extract a big part of uh, of granite with this. Uh, and then you change your tools and you, you will use the, uh, um, 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 a few awesome. tools, different yeah. tools, to go to the, 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 the roughest tool to the finest tool, okay? Yes. And then to finish, in order to finish with your polish, but uh, some people think that the, the caves are so perfect because of the polish, but not. The polishing is uh, uh, going, is coming just 50 microns before the, the, the end, okay? Mm. The polishing is that, it, it means that the caves were totally uh, flat, symmetrical, uh, very precise before the polishing, okay? Yeah. yeah. Because the polishing is just, you, you put this and polish like mirror, but it, it, it's not this that could make a... Uh, uh, if you have some uh, some hole or something, it, right. you, will, you still have the, the, the hole. Yeah. And so, um, so uh, you use different kinds of uh, tools, and then uh, you have to be very careful. As said in BAM, do not go too far because if you go too far, the the, the, the cave is um, is, is um, uh, not good. So. Uh, you have to anticipate with your tools and to use the first one and then the second one and then the third one and okay and you have to know exactly when you you have to change your tools because you do some measurement and you say okay guys we have a we have a, um, um, a took a certain amount of granite and now because of the dimension we are close to the final dimension now we have to change the tools, the tools okay yeah. so you have to measure in sign and you have to say okay we want the the the, the caves to be uh, six meters uh, 
for example, and then we are at five meters and 50. So we just have 50 and we have to, to, to be very careful, okay? <clears throat> and then you, <clears throat> you change the nature of your, your, your tools, okay? And uh, the problem is that the mark we see show that it's too late to use this kind of tools, okay? Because yeah. it's too dangerous. Yeah. And it's exactly what happens with, the, with these tools, they have made a lot of uh, negative of, uh, of the surf in, into the surface. Yeah, they've dug yeah. in. Yeah. Everywhere. So you, you see clearly, it's, it's not a proof, but it's, it's obvious. When you see this, you say, okay, the guy who has made this cave and not the guy who has made the other cave. Yeah. Because they don't know. Because yeah. they have made five before, and then they just don't um, uh, succeed in this one. And right. they show us that they don't know how to do it because they are working with the tools too late. And when you go inside, you see the the the, the, the pieces in the, the cave. You will see more in the, 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 the next movie, uh, totally yeah. dedicated on, on the band because you, there will, will be a lot of pictures explaining Good. all that I told you. So you have this unfinished cave. Uh, we think that uh, it was maybe a finished cave that has been, uh, uh, they tried to, to change it, right. but they didn't succeed, okay? And, they, yeah. and you have the other one isolated with this. <clears throat> but the problem is that you don't have all the prototypes. Right. So the, the story is very simple. It's the King Ashoka, who were um, uh, a very violent guy, very violent king at the beginning of his uh, reign. And he, uh, he met the Buddhism and he became uh, an angel. Okay. And, very, uh, and then he went to India. It's the story that they, they, they tell us. And he went to India and he um, he's, um, brought the Buddhism <clears throat> in India. Okay. And then the, the, this guy was very interested by the religious or, or spiritual minorities, or sects, or a lot of, uh, and he wanted to give them some gift. And, uh, and so he sent a lot of people around the India, and they put some writings, and he, he wanted to do a big empire, and he wanted to unify, okay? And uh, the story is that uh, there was a sect, uh, there were a sect uh, living uh, in Baba. Uh, Baba is near Bodh Gaya. It's uh, at least 20 kilometers from Bodh Gaya, the, the, the place where the Buddha, uh, uh, the, the, the cave of the Buddha. Okay. okay. But it's uh, the, this place, and that is very interesting too. This place, it's uh, in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing. Okay, because if it's a temple or church or something, you need to have some people, but there's nothing, nothing around for like kilometers. And um, uh, the, 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 this king wanted to, so to, to, to be present to, to this sect. And uh, this sect was the, a sect of people uh, uh, who, who are very interested by meditation. They were not interested by singing or by sound, okay? There were just uh, people uh, uh, very, I, I, I don't know the word in English, but they're as, ascetic people. Aesthetic they don't eat a lot. Yeah, they yeah. were almost naked and they spend their time to pray, okay? Yeah, just yeah, this. Yeah. But not interested by sound, not interested by music. Um, it was not in their culture. And it was... Uh, I don't remember the, the name exactly. It was Ajanta, a, a, a Ajanta people, I think, in French. Okay. Okay. Ajanta, okay. So the, 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 the reason for this cave and what was written, um, it's not written uh, with the, this, uh, it's, it's not exactly written this, it's very old language. But what was the juice to this is that the cave, this cave was given by the King Ashoka to this sect. Uh, in order to protect them from the monsoon. <laughs> okay. So uh, it, it, there were not very, um, uh, there were not a lot of people because the caves are very small. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's very strange 
because you say, okay, you, do, do, do we need uh, some symmetrical places to protect people from the monsoon? Yeah. <laughs> so the yeah. first thing, and uh, do we need some uh, very uh, shaped, uh, like a uh, mirror polished place to, to protect from the right. monsoon? Because they, they didn't say it's a place to pray. Or not. No, because there's nothing inside. There's yeah. no statues. There's nothing like you find everywhere in India. No elephants, nothing. It's, it's like pure. A... It's like the Great Pyramid. It's like the Valley Temple. It's like the Ozi Rayon. It's like the base of Pumapunku. Yeah. Uh, it's like Saksa Wellman. It's like the heart of Machu Picchu. It's like the, the first of uh, place, uh, things of Easter Island. It's like Gobekli Tepe, not Gobekli Tepe, but because there's some sc sc sculptures. And, and so yeah. this is the official um, explaining, OK? But uh, so we have to believe that uh, King Ashoka asked two people to do something they have never done before, because you don't find any other caves everywhere. Yeah. So, okay. they, so some other people could get out of the rain. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the first time. <laughs> and then the, the first time uh, they, 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 they did five masterpieces. Yeah. And so extraordinary that they forgotten, uh, they forgot uh, not a long time uh, after, they forgot the way to make it because they didn't uh, succeed in finishing one, uh, which is the Lomas Ritchie, and it is about 30 years after the first one. It's what they, the, the archaeology they say. Yes. And so at this time, they have lost the, the techniques. So you, you, the, the, for, for the first time, yes, let's do a cave. Let's do a pyramid. Let's do a morai. Let's do an edge block. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. people are waking up with the inspiration, and the the the, the mean to do and to realize the inspiration. So, no, our our look is not like this. Our look is very very uh, uh, pragmatic and uh, rational and technical. Yeah. Because. Because it's the, I think it's a very important point if you want to show to people and to say, okay, come on, come on. Yeah. Let's, let's uh, take a stone cutter explaining things and not uh, Egyptologist or archaeologist. And I don't yeah. want to blame Egyptologist and archaeologist. And my door is open. And if they want to discuss and to get the, our data and to work with, no problem. No problem. It's made for this. Chris has Chris Dunn has waited for uh, seven years, no more than seven years. Yeah, ten years to see a scientist uh, want want to studying this um, the symmetry of the Luxor space. He told me the last time I was uh, t t t I have talked with him. He told me that there's a guy in the East uh, land that uh, scientist that um, uh, who called who called him and want to see the data. It's the first time. It took 10 years, more than 10 years. Yeah. But yeah, that, so that's, I, that's, I'm such a fan of that pragmatic approach, like the, the, the looking at the technical detail. I think that's what I try to do with my channel, same thing. Like I'm trying to shine a light on these. Talking, and yeah. that's why we're talking now, because I love uh, the, the, what the, 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 the way, the, the angle and the way you speak about the thing in your videos are very, Pragmatic, and I, I love the videos with the when you are in Tanis. Uh, yes, because there's some objects you can see the the, the columns, and uh, because the, the people has to um, to 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 know that um, uh, what we see now in Egypt as uh, at least four thousand or three thousand years. Yeah. Uh, uh, so it, 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 you you just have to think what will be your, uh, our things in two uh, in three or four thousand years. Yeah, not okay. Much. Yeah. Yes. So so uh, when you see something and you, you have seen in in, um, in Tanis, you show us some column, very uh, and I hope you will put the, the back the the, the, the yep. picture at this time and you see some um, some line. And everywhere you see this kind of, uh, it's perfect. Everywhere yeah, it's yeah. perfect. But you see, it's not polished. Right. It's the same state of surface like the Ramses statue. Yep. Yeah. Not polished, but but perfectly yeah. flat and shaped. Yeah. It's not, yeah. But not yeah. polished. Right. But right. but if you are brazing 
abrasing, 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 abrasing to, right. to, to, to get some flat surface yes. at one time. It's polished. You have to polish it because it will be polished at certain place, right. places and not to other. You yeah, know, it's, right. so you, will end up, you will end up with the polishing everything because it won't be. But not the, on the Ramses statue is the same. And, and, and Christopher Dunn was uh, very, uh, he was asking himself and say, it's the symmetrical, symmetry. okay, but why it's not polished? Because it could have been symmetrical because of the polishing, okay? Yeah. Right, but, yeah, it, had, it wasn't that a process that yeah. did it. It must have been cut and, yeah, designed right. that way. Like that's, that's the only way you avoid polishing parts of it, right? You have to actually, you can't just abrase down to get it to that point. It had to be carved that way. Yes, and you, you, I've seen some um, some uh, uh, column in uh, Abu Sir. You, you you remember you, you went to Abu Sir and you, mm -hmm. when you see some uh, the column with the it's like um, a star, uh, yep. five star and cut, and you see and you, I, I wanted to 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 make um, a 3D scan with this just to um, because what we can do with the barbar caves and we can show and pose the caves. We can cut the caves. We can yeah. do a lot of things. So it's very interesting. It, it, it would be very interesting to to to, to put a, a Ramses statue to a 3D scan. 3D scan, like a proper one. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. That's I, I'd love and, to see uh, that happen. But but what we see is that, and I have this uh, strong feeling from the beginning. What we see is is it, it's too precise. It's too precise. But it, it, it doesn't mean that it has been made with the laser coming from uh, another civilization at yeah, the, sure. but a part of the world, the, the universe. No, but you, you just have to consider because uh, from 20 years, I'm, um, I, 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 have, uh, I have seen a lot of statues in a, a lot of different stones. And it's one of the hardest stone we can find, and one of the most difficult stone oh, to work hard. because it's not homogeneous. Uh, the granite is uh, three: the quartz, the feldspar, and the, the yeah. mica. Okay? Well, there's e there's even um, some obelisks made from conglomerate, which is even worse. Like conglomerates, yeah, and even yeah. even less um, consistent stone. Like it's full of all sorts yeah. of different material hardness. Some crazy objects made from conglomerate that I've seen. At Abu, actually at Tanis and, 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 and also Tanis. at Abu Yes, Sin. I remember your video, you're, you're telling about this. But because people think that, uh, and it's for sure, the, the hardness of a stone is measured by is the, the, the strongest stone you can find in tools. So, yeah. uh, for example, for the granite, it's the quartz, because yep. the quartz is seven on the most scales. Most scale. And yeah. the, 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 the false part, it, uh, it's about uh, four or five. And the uh, mica, it's about mica. three. Yeah, so, so it's very difficult when we want to sculpt because yeah. you have some different and parts. Blow it's up. A, yeah. Yes, it's like you're working with the argiles and you have some very smooth and very thin argile and you are very rough and very strong uh, argile. So it's very difficult to work with this. Yeah. But they use this and they, they achieve something very incredible. You, yeah. you see the, the things and you say it's very precise but when you stay like this and you say okay oh it's precise and you put your hand okay uh, but you can say at this uh, this time some guys say oh look uh, this column has been made by uh, 200 people and they took uh, 20 years to do this it was for the pharaohs uh, and if mm. they they didn't succeed in this they would they, they would have died okay yeah so yeah, maybe yeah. Tell it in your mind, you can say, why not? Okay. But if you measure it very with the 3D scan or thing like this, then you realize, and then you say, as the geologist in Ban, and you say, okay, no, it's it's too precise to have been made like this. I yeah. don't know how, but it's too precise. That's exactly right. It's quantifiable. And th this is where it gets down to the, the root of the issue. And I think this is where... It, Chris Dunn has had this challenge out in his book for, as you say, 10 years. It's, uh, you know, that's, that's, we have to, if, if, and I think there's a, maybe that's where some of the reluctance to do these measurements come from, because there may be some awareness that, that, that it leads down a path that, that really challenges our understanding of history, right? That's because I, I look at it and I, so what, what I come, the conclusion I come to with most of this is that 
given the things we can measure and the precision we can define, nobody has ever replicated that that level of precision with the tools and techniques that are ascribed to history and, and the tools and techniques that we have in the archaeological record. So I'm left in this position where I think either, you know, either we've we've great like if we take Egypt, we either we have either greatly underestimated the dynastic Egyptians and we haven't found the tools and techniques that they use to make them because there's just no way that you can use these copper chisels and rough plumb bobs and things to make these objects. Either mm. either that's the case and, and we've got most of our ideas about that civilization wrong or or they didn't they didn't make them <laughs> and, and they inherited them because there's you know there's there's the whole picture of inheritance this this comes back to the idea you said like just people popping up out of nowhere and creating these incredible objects. I mean I I consider the entire old kingdom to be something like that like it seems to come out of nowhere and they do their greatest work at the very start of the egyptian civilization and then decline afterwards i mean the 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 the, the concept of inheritance and longer time time frames i don't think there's much that rules that out and if anything we're discovering more and more evidence that suggests this may have been the case you've got the younger dryas you've got all this other circumstantial evidence you've got the you know dna linkages between you know Australian Aboriginals and the peoples of South America, and there's just there's, it seems like a much longer history on the planet yeah. uh, is is a possibility, and that's you know that that's the that's the premise I think we have to get around to looking at with an open mind, but it, it I haven't seen it happen yeah. yet in the yes, but it's it's not it's not easy <clears throat> it's not easy because it's uh, uh, in France I don't know uh, I uh, it was um, uh, how it is uh, um, elsewhere. But in France, uh, the, the, um, at the school, at the primary school, they start yeah. to, uh, to tell you that the pyramid was built. And it's, uh, it's not slaves now. Uh, it's not clear. But, uh, but it's, it's you have to remember the that the, the, the Egyptologists say that it was uh, built by slaves for, for years, for yeah. years, and without yeah, yeah. any um, a blueprint. Right. They and just now made it up they, as they came, went along. Yes, and now they, they just uh, they say that uh, it's uh, by workers, and uh, it's a tomb for the king. Uh, it's uh, it's um, uh, a very high workers, uh, master workers. It's not uh, just workers uh, beginning. Yeah. It's a very uh, uh, master and stone cutters, and so uh, and this uh, information uh, and, uh, is coming from stone modern stone cutters. And they say these guys are the best we have seen. And Egypt is the the, the mecca for us. Uh, India is very good, but Egypt is, uh, is very very good in the, the crafting because it's very hard material materials. Yeah. And uh, and when you when 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 you when you see this, when you go to Egypt, and when you just when you start to 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 see something you don't know, unknown purpose, unknown object, then you, you because I don't know what the Great Pyramid is. Right. But for me, now it's quite obvious. It, is, it could be everything, but not certainly not a tomb. It's yeah. not a tomb. It's, it, for me, it, it, if this, um, the, this pyramid has been built to the, for the glory of something, it's gl the glory of life. Yeah. Um, oh, and, showing, and of nature. I mean, it, it, it represents yes, fundamental yes. principles of nature. It's yes. It's because, the planet. Because it's, when, yeah. when I say when when I when I when I say life, it's it's nature. It's the world. It's yeah. um, because what we see is like they um, they have seen the nature and they have seen that uh, there's a pattern, some patterns in the nature yeah. and the, the, yeah. the, the, the golden ratio and. The, and they have seen there's a lot of things in the nature, and it's like uh, there's uh, some numbers um, uh, uh, derrière, beside. There's some numbers beside the the, the reality. Yep. Okay. Right. The constant between the time and space. Right? They, they they say they, they, there's some numbers because there are some structures. The the when you you were speaking about the flower, the the, the, the what's the, the the name of the flower? With the Fibonacci sequence, the, the, you know? the flower of life. 
No, no, the flower, the sun, the sunflower. You know, it's a oh, the sunflower with the Fibonacci. Yeah, so so Fibonacci and the, yeah, it's the golden ratio that's represented yes. in nature. Yeah, it's... you you can see the sunflower and seeing the sunflower. But if you study the, the the structure and you start to measure, you will find a lot of numbers and you will see the yes. Fibonacci uh, structure, the, the 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 spiral and a lot of things and the golden ratio and yep. and they have seen this. And uh, if you think about what they, they are doing with the pyramids, for example, it's that they, they are taking some natural materials uh, like the limestone, like the, the, yep. the, the granite, granite and things, and they cut it and they put and they assemble together, but like the nature is doing with the life, because they put it on the golden ratio, it's just <laughs> the same. And yeah. it's a, they, they are building the pyramids on uh, uh, building with uh, uh, building it with the golden ratio, right? Uh, because I think, uh, have you seen all the 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 the, 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 the pyramid is made with uh, uh, levels like the the um, yes, what levels. do they call it? The it's each not the, the it's not the same levels, not the same height. And right. uh, what could be very interesting to to it's interesting to to do is to uh, compare the, the volume of the blocks uh, between each other. Uh, because um, uh, in France, we have a university and they have, uh, they have worked um, in the, the town of uh, Saint-Étienne and they have worked of the, on the, the property of the material, stones, when you, um, uh, in order to work on the, the, the transmission of the strengths of, um, um, of the, the, the audio, uh, you know, the, the, the strains. The and they have seen that if you put one block and the other, and if the report of the volume between the two blocks is one uh, plain uh, number, like yep. one, two, three, four, I don't yep. know how you call this in English, yep. then the, the, the transmission is maximum. Okay. okay. If, if I put if I put a vibration like a seism, um, uh, seism, the transmission between the two blocks is maximum. And it's normal because it's like the music and the, 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 uh, when you are you're playing pianos, for example, and you have your, uh, I, I, I don't know the word for this, let's say, I, I won't take this uh, example. But if you, if you have the, the volume, uh, for example, two and the other, uh, it's three, then the, the transmission of the force is maximum, okay? Yeah, so it's the, the, and it's, um, minimum, the... It's, it's minimum when the report of the volume the, between the two blocks is the golden ratio of a uh, derivative of the golden ratio, okay? Right. Because what? Because it's an irrational number and it's only, it's a, a, a pure logic and science. Hmm. It's because uh, to be, uh, to, to produce harmonic sound, you need to have plain number. Yeah. But if you have irrational number, number that has no end, mm -hmm. it's not uh, in sound, it's not harmonic. Yeah, yeah, you can't get a yeah. solid wavelength. So, so it means, and, and with the, the golden ratio, it's the, 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 the frequency, the, the, the report of the volume uh, based on the golden ratio, it was the, the case when there were the less transmission of the of the force of the strength, so it's right. very difficult for me to to, to put yeah. on my ID. My I words understand. are not going as fast as my brain, so it, it, <laughs> it's just not my, my language, so it's difficult. I understand now, and, and, and yeah, thank you. you yeah, so. so, so they use the golden ratio and they put on the pyramid, and it would be very interesting to have a big statistic study uh, of with the, the, of the, the blocks volumes. in order to determine. Uh, if it's the case with the golden ratio and that, uh, you know, all the structure is made, is built on the golden ratio. Yeah. And then it's, it's, it's like uh, if they wanted to say to other people, to the gods, to everybody that, that uh, will come to the site uh, later, uh, centuries later, uh, look what we have understood. We have yeah. understood that the life is uh, growing uh, around the golden ratio. Yeah. We have understood that pi is very important for, for yeah. us. Pi and the golden ratio are very important if you well, want to do anything for reality, for it, science. It, it also know? encodes the dimensions of the planet. You know, you have, yes. the, you have the difference between latitude and longitude in the, 
in the and circumference the of, of the base and the sockle. And the speed of light. How the they speed of light, yeah. When, yeah, when exactly. I, they, yes, they, they, in the revelation of the pyramid with the speed of light, it's the perfect example. Because people can say, okay, and uh, can we find the, 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 the name of my mother and the age of the captain? Uh, you can find what you want because they, they, they tell us that it's um, uh, illusion, uh, statistic illusion, okay? Sure. Uh, statistical illusion. Okay. Yeah. So there are a lot of number, and if you find the number, and of course you 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 will can find something, and uh, so that's why when we uh, each time we do something, we we put some statistical uh, study with it. Yeah. And uh, in order to, to to know if it's the by chance or if it's a will. And, yeah. uh, uh, and then when you. Uh, uh, when you have this, uh, they, 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 they have built, they have built, I don't remember when I, when I was, I have lost my, uh, my idea. But what I wanted to say is like the, the, the Egyptian, when they build the, the pyramid, it's like they're building something and they say, look what we have understood. Oh, sorry, I, I was, uh, what we have understood of the world and, yeah. um, and uh, what the knowledge we have put inside. And it was uh, on the, the speed of light. And when you have the speed of light, you say, it's bullshit, nonsense, this documentary, it's totally nonsense, the speed of light. Because, it, of course, if you don't know the speed of light, it's not because you will uh, deduce one length, uh, minus uh, another length, you find a number and you say, oh, and if it was the speed of light, no, it's, it, it has no use to put like this. But, if you are doing some operation list and you have to find like pi, okay, oh, the golden ratio, oh, uh, the distance uh, with uh, the, the of uh, moving of one point, if you put one point at the equator for one for second, two seconds, yeah, yeah. oh, and uh, the distance from the, the, the earth to the sun, if yep. you multiply and you say, yeah, okay, okay, 42, okay, yeah. lots of things. It's very difficult to go on things like this, but uh, it's quite, it's like, uh, what do you know? Do you know, uh, do you know the golden ratio? Oh, yes, because we, uh, for example, we find the, the, the pyramid in the, at the Renaissance, okay? Yeah, at this sure. time, we know the golden ratio, we know pi, okay? But we don't know the speed of light. We have, we have not measured the speed of light. So at this time, we will recognize the golden ratio, pi, but not the speed of light. But when we have discovered the speed of light, she said, oh, guys, that's the golden ratio, that's pi, but the speed of light. And it, it's, the, you know, it's uh, just, you say, you know this? Okay, so if you know this, you have to know that we know this too. And this yeah. parameter of the Earth, we know it. And we know a lot of things. And what is make me totally crazy with the pyramids, and it's the use of the metal. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's it's quite that, but ban has been made to be uh, seen a few times, and maybe you can see ban one time just to for the pleasure to, to because I I hope the, the movie is pleasant with the, these pictures and the, the music yeah. and yeah, it looks great and the travel all over the world to see the the, the sites, yeah. but you have to see this just for the pleasure and then. If you are interested and if you want to think about this and to, to watch to, it to, again, yes, then you choose your part and you have a lot of parts, different parts and different topics, and then you yeah. can can discuss and you can work with this. Yeah. And, uh, okay, okay. When you when you put a lot of information for two hours and twenty minutes, like I'm doing now, I'm speaking and speaking and speaking <laughs> a lot of things. At the time, you, 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 you say, okay, shut, shut the fuck up, please. <laughs> let us think, let us think, let us listen to music. And, okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you don't have a lot of chance to, to put the files to the, 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 a large audience. So sure. I cool. did. So I decided to do like this. And I said, okay, I will put not uh, all the things because there are a lot more. Yeah. But yeah enough things to, 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 to say to people, okay, if you want to think about this, you can think about this. Even if you don't believe it, no problem. It's still what but the, 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 the meter parts is the, the most incredible thing 
on the, the most obvious thing. Yeah, and because, because a meter relates and it's been derived through the geometry of the planet. Like that's how we, we got to that in the first place. And then that's also reflected as a measurement in the Great Pyramid. So it just, I think it's another piece that shows this deeper understanding. Like it, it, it all ties back into that same thing you're talking about, which is, yeah, this, the, the pyramid was, I mean, it's, it's so far from being a tomb. It's not funny. It was, it was, it, it really was, as you say, it's, it's like a look at what we understood. It's, it's, it's some form of time capsule almost. It's this, it's this connection to the planet. It's, it's a, yeah, yeah it's, in, it's information. It's, 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 it's I, something I, encoded I, through time. Yes. yes. Oh yeah. I'm quite, I'm quite sure that it's uh, for, for a long time in antiquity, for example, the Arab uh, um, uh, uh, researcher, uh, in, I don't know, in, in, we use the word in, in France to design the, the, this guy that were researcher, they were scientists, they were uh, author. It was more complicated. So this savant, savant, uh, oh, I don't yeah. know. But the, 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 these uh, Arabic um, authors uh, wrote on the pyramid and they brought a lot of things, but it's totally different than what uh, the Greek wrote, for example. Yeah. And they say that at this time, that uh, the, the, the pyramid and the site, the Giza plateau, and it, it's not the Giza site, the whole Giza site, not just the pyramid. Yeah. But they are like uh, archives, and they are archives. some uh, place when, the, when there's knowledge and uh, memories and lots of things for people. And uh, for them, it was this, and I as shown at the, the beginning of the revelation of the pyramid. It's um, uh, for a long, long uh, time uh, before Herodotus, because we have kept the, the, the testimony of Herodotus, but there were 12 authors at this time. And 12 was the, what, that were speaking about the Great Pyramid, and nobody was uh, uh, agreeing. Uh, in, they were not agree uh, uh, between them, themselves. And they, they wanted to agree about the function of the pyramid at this time, at this time. And we have yeah. just Herodotus now. And so I, what I think is the problem of the pyramids and the problem of the Giza plateau is that it's too clever for us. Still beyond it's us. Like, yes, it's... A, it's I think it, so too. Yes, because he... We put it in the past and we have the sense of the, 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 the progress. And it, we are going from uh, um, the wheel from thousands of years to nanotechnology now. So if, uh, if you put something, if you have your link, if you put something here, it's more closer to, to, to the, the wheel than to the nanotechnology. And then because of this, we have decided that uh, now we are clever and we are doing something. And uh, yeah. of course, the necessary uh, 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 ancient people and they did the brute and the, uh, okay, they were interested by perfume, but look at what we represent, the way we, we represent, we are representing the Rapa Nui people, the Inca people, the Egyptian people, they're all naked. All naked right. every day and they're just uh, using some perfume and uh, playing with crocodile. And... <laughs> yeah. And it, I... it's a, yes, it's um, it's a perspective uh, we, thing. We have no information at all from the, the people. Uh, the, the, the Egyptians were uh, supposed to be as clever to build the Great Pyramid. So it's like a mind, organized mind. Uh, yeah. they, were, they, were think, they, they, they were thinking about the, the forces, the strengths, the, the engineers and a lot of things. Yeah. So it's like some guy that they are able to focus their thoughts and to put and to think and to elaborate and to de to draw and to make a lot of things. And they didn't explain at all the no. biggest construction of antiquity. It's yeah. nonsense. No, nonsense. And it, it was for megalomania. Uh, so they we have written everywhere and they say, look, we are the best of the world, the best human yeah. you can find in the world. But it's nothing. And there is no information, so it's like, you know what? That all the story has been thrown away. Yeah. And they try to, 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 to erase the story. Maybe it's the Greek, maybe it's the Romans, maybe it's the, Ara the Arabs, maybe it's the, the... We don't know. We don't know who. But they, they, they decide at one time to erase, the, the, erase the, the, the story. And that's why we have nothing from the five first dynasty. And this five dynasty, 
are uh, 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 more exceptional than all the Any rest. Any of them else put together. Yes. Yeah, they are. Yes, yes they are. You have, to right. remember, you have to remember that the human is, uh, uh, mankind is uh, uh, 300 and thousand years. Years old. Yeah, we That's are. Right. At okay. least. At least. At least. But we have discovered this uh, last year. Yeah, from and Morocco. We know for sure that you can find the Homo sapiens sapiens uh, with the, 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 the same, quite the same face. Yeah, uh, same who is 300 and, and, and uh, thousand years okay yeah so we would uh, we should believe that uh, the human as creative as uh, explore uh, the, 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 with the will to explore the world and yeah, uh, as imaginative as, as we are uh, as stayed hunter gatherer for for Two hundred and ninety uh, four thousand uh, years. years. More <laughs> than that, for suddenly starts civilization. It, yeah, yeah, and civilization, and yeah. Uh, and they start and they say, okay, guys, it's like in Baba. Let's build pyramids. What is pyramid? Pyramids, a thing like this, like triangle. You put, start stacking okay. blocks. Yes, and <laughs> Just they, start okay, piling them up. Uh, yes, okay, <laughs> let's do this, and we try and they, and the. the <laughs> The Great Pyramid of Giza is the, um, the fourth, five. Four, fourth, fifth. Four. Step, Giza, my Joseph, doom, doom, bent, red, bench, fifth, red fifth. 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 It's the fifth, fifth one. Fifth. The fifth big one. Because they're small one, but we don't yeah. care about the small one. They're very small. Yeah, yeah. But, Mind you, the the, the, the the second, third, and fourth are pretty amazing as well. Like, they're all... Yeah, yeah it's... Yeah. it's I, it doesn't... I agree. It doesn't make sense. It, we, we have been on this planet for longer than i mean for such a long time i mean we used to think that we were 50,000 years old now that's we're out to 300,000 years old and the dna evidence suggests that we split with a common ancestor with the neanderthal somewhere in the 7 to 800,000 year range so i i consider that to be the 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 other end of the possibility we've got we've got human remains from 300,000 years old but it's possible that we're as much as 8 7 or 800,000 years old as a species so yeah, to think that it's only been the last six thousand years that we've developed is um, is is ludicrous, frankly. I think um, you know yeah. we're humans. You give us you give us warm weather and, and enough food to eat, and we start solving problems. You know, we start growing and and, and developing. So it's um, the situation. The situation is that now it's exactly it looked like the same as the Middle Age. When you have the, the the church that didn't want uh, people to, uh, to 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 show something like dinosaurs, something that would be contradict the Bible, okay? Yeah, sure. Same, and then yeah. the science has has emerged at the at the beginning. It has emerged against this power, yeah. but now uh, five hundred years later, uh, the science this part of the science because I, I I won't blame the science and I want I don't want to blame Egyptologists and archaeologists. And no problem. I yeah. was, you were in your life, you were as an engineer, I was in commercial and I was involved in a lot of things, wanted to make money, a lot of things. So I don't want to judge any people on the, the, because mm -hmm. there's they, they a lot that are, who are sincere and uh, they, they, yes. they, don't want, they don't want to work for the name, the fame, uh, no, just they work sincerely and they, they, yep. because they're passionate with the subject. But uh, what they are doing now is that you, you can discuss it's not possible to discuss. It's like uh, at the Middle Age, you, you were speaking about the dinosaur and yeah. some some priest could uh, look at you and they say, okay, it's oh, like oh. coming from Satan. Uh, yeah. And it's uh, today you say, okay, it's coming from aliens, but it's exactly the same. It is, it say, is okay, we can discuss, we can talk. Yeah. And if it people is. Want to think that the, the, the Great Pyramid has, has been built by, by uh, uh, dogs, it's right. not right. Okay, and then let's demonstrate me it's not the case. But but if you say you're, you're too silly, we can't discuss with you. I say no bullshit because we are not silly. An alternative researcher, we are not silly. And what we are doing, we, we are doing things that you're not doing. And it's not normal that uh, we are the first one to measure uh, the the the, the, the Puma blocks. Kupunku blocks like we have done. Uh, we scan the the, the barbar caves, uh, yeah. Chris. 
has uh, verified the, the, the face of the statuogram and, and you, you went and you have made your things with the electromagnetism and it's not normal. It's not our job. We, we are very um, happy to do this because we, we all want to understand. Yeah, and we feel, that's right. Yes, what we feel is that there's something for us. There's something we can we can we, we can earn with this. We, there's something we can learn, and right. there's, there's something that maybe could change our future. Because what we see now is that what what's the result? It's 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 it's, it's yeah, it's, that's it's nonsense, nonsense. Like like you said, I think this understanding uh, would only lead to to helping our our future. I think that, that to to gain more of this understanding of the past is only it's only going to help our future. And as you said before, the you know the the past and the future are connected, and the kind of present days the is only yeah. the vehicle that connects the two of them. So. Yeah, anyway, just, I th- I, just I, to believe that, that that the human people are not uh, bad, bad. It's like you know, Hobbes, Thomas Hobbes said the the uh, man is a wolf for man is is the wolf a wolf for man. I don't know if right. it is said like like this. Yeah. And you have another. It's a French guy. The other is his name Rousseau, and he says no, uh, it's the the, the society. And the two it's ideas the we have that the, the, it's like the left and the right is politic. Uh, the left say it's the world that is responsible for the people, and the, the right say no, we are responsible for, for the people. So if you don't work, it's your problem, you know. And it's yeah. Yeah, it's um, uh, very rough what I say, but uh, yeah. and uh, and now at the, the, this time maybe uh, b- because they, they they say that we are not. Uh, it, it exactly what happened with the news and let, let's let's please make a conclusion on the present day uh, yep. with the news yep. they only show that it's a 90 or 95 percent negative information always That's right. yeah yes so what's your feeling it's like um, you're stressed and you're not good and it's very difficult to to uh, imagine the future and it's it's very difficult to to project you in the future and to project a good future, because when I was a young guy, there was a, they, they were explaining the society explains mm-hmm. us <clears throat> explained us that the, the we are going to the best future possible. We we will uh, eradicate the the, the problems sure. with the food, uh, disease, uh, population, everything. Everybody will work. It will be the paradise. Okay. So let's go to the science because science is our new god and is is making us going through the the hidden hidden garden for 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 the people. It was this this speech. Now the speech is totally different. It is. Uh, yeah. I, I, I I can uh, try to find someone, uh, a normal guy or maybe smart guy, and I uh, to. to to, to find this guy and to, to ask him what are his thoughts for the 15 next years and how will be the situation according to him it, it will be the situation be better or, and nobody will answer the, the, the mm-hmm. positive and they say we don't know we don't know it's very dangerous for the environment it's very dangerous for the subpopulation it's very dangerous for terrorism it's very dangerous for now for the virus and pandemic so it's very difficult to find something and to wake up each morning and to say, okay, we don't know what will happen. And it's, uh, and uh, in the media, in this, they always put some negative information. And what is the pervert effect, the side effect of uh, this? Is that we think that what is important is the negative things. And yeah, it's right. like if I cross your path uh, each morning, and each morning you say, hi, hey, Patrice, how are you? And I say, oh, my God, uh, my dog has died uh, this night. I'm sick. Uh, and I say this one day, two day, but the third day you change. You change and you say, I don't want to, 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 to see Patrice. You will tell me some awful things. Some, but but, mm-hmm. but we do this with the media. We do. And the media are explaining that uh, this is the, the this is the situation, this awful situation, because of us, just because of us, because we are child, and all the governments are speaking to us as we are a child. 
and they're using the emo our emotions and too, and they consider us as child because it's an ego problem. These guys think they are far more clever, far more than smarter are. than the normal people. Yeah. But yeah. the culture, the, 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 uh, I don't know the world of culture, um, the intelligence and the knowledge, uh, having a lot of knowledge, it's totally different. Because the, right, you right. have, yes. Yes, knowledge and wisdom. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so um, uh, when you have this, and we project this view, this modern view that it's it's uh, undis you you can't discuss you can't discuss it, and the problem the 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 the, 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 the project this modern view to the past, and they say and uh, maybe they are very happy to say well it was a uh, uh, um, a very good time like uh, uh, because at this time you can have a furrow that ask to his people to build the best the greatest pyramid of the the, the world. And everybody is happy to do this. It's, yeah. it's incredible. What what is their secret? You know, because uh, there are some guys today on the uh, to, uh, on the planet that uh, I think uh, want to understand how they did, how they they they, they succeed in this uh, thing. And okay. we are projecting our ideas on this. On people. the past. Yeah. Yes, on the past, and then we we said I could. Uh, look, uh, man, uh, are very um, they are uh, 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 barely, uh, I don't know beating people and very nervous people and I don't have the word now. Uh, but uh, the, the, the man is not good with his uh, brother, okay. Yeah. And uh, so we have to we have to put a government and we have to, to put this and uh, if there's some wars, it's because of man, you know, because uh, man sure. is like this. He always wants the thing of his neighbor, okay? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But to explain the story, they go to the past and they say, look, it was the same in the past. But yeah. the past, it, it was worse because they were cutting the, the, and sacrificing sure. a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. And they were afraid of uh, um, uh, the, 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 the gods. The, uh, his orage, uh, thunderbirds, uh, yeah, yeah. The thunders. They were uh, afraid of this. And, okay, but what we look is just a few thousand of years. Okay, and we project the world story, and we decide that the human are like this only on the few thousand uh, years, and this few thousand years um, are seen by a special, special uh, um, angle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I get what you're saying. Like we're, we're, we're projecting. Hmm? Yeah. It is propaganda. Yeah, no, the way we project our current image onto the past and try to use then the past to 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 justify our current existence. And yeah, I think a a, a better understanding of the past is going to help us change our own future because it gives us alternatives to how we're doing it at the moment. So. Anyway, Patrice, it's been three hours. So three hours. It's, it's oh, been sorry. three hours. And uh, it's, don't, it's don't, all right. No, it's been it's been don't wonderful. Get to no, cut. no, no. We, yeah, we'll work. We'll. Uh, yeah, that's it's it's all yes. good. I, I will I will put this. I will cut if, this together. If you want to cut one hour, two hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, I, 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 I don't want to bother people because I. Uh, it's all good. I know yeah. That I'm talking a lot. And, uh, it's all good. Because each time I do this, it, as if it's if it's the last time. Okay. Yeah, now we because can do I it again. We, yes, we, we so, should do this again. So. So.